So you want to support Repton Tech by using your Prime membership to subscribe to our channel. Well, here's a tutorial to kind of show you how to make that happen. Because we've had a few members who have said, Dr. T, this shit is hard, okay? And I have to agree because I had to learn myself. So here's what you do. You go to gaming.amazon.com, okay? And then you sign in with your Amazon Prime account. After you log in with your Prime account, on the top right-hand corner, my name is there. I'm gonna link my Twitch account, okay? And so this means that you need to make sure that you already have a Twitch account created. Um, and I'm just gonna click on link accounts and it's gonna go look, Repton Tech, that's me. We wanna link Repton Tech with my um, Prime account and confirm. And now my Prime account is connected. So when I click on this, you'll see that this is the Twitch account that is connected. During the stream, when the stream is happening, there will be a couple options here. One of them will be a crown, okay? All you have to do is click on that crown, use your Prime membership to say that you want to give this to Repton Tech. Please use your Prime account to subscribe to Repton Tech. It helps us with all the programming that we have. Um, and it's absolutely free to you because you already have a Prime account. Get it done, y'all, get it done. What is up, fam? What is up, fam? I'm Dr. Teresa Vasquez, but you can call me Dr. T, and welcome to this edition of Pre-Work. Hold on, let me get my, my, my sound today. What is up, everybody? What is up? Let me tell y'all something. Sis almost didn't make it tonight. I had a, 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 a accident. Um, put me, you know, in the dentist chair today, uh, so I'm gonna have to have a root canal. Um, so they packed me and gave me some medicine. So I'm feeling a little loopy. So I'm already crazy. So I probably am just going to be myself. <laughs> That's the way it works, right? But I'm happy for everybody who's here. I hope y'all are so ready to join into this logic shit, y'all. We got so much cool stuff ready, ready, ready for y'all. Now, before we get started, though, I do want to let everybody know. Hold on. I just made a new thing today um, about GridHub. Okay, GridHub is where all of our things are located. You go to gridhub.reptintech.com. You will be able to see all of the past videos that we've done um, concerning the pre-work. You'll actually see the lessons that we've done during those. Um, and you'll also have access to a diverse community of, like I said, diverse technologists, allies, and sponsors. So make sure you're showing some love on that. All right, one more thing I want to make y'all aware of is... Uh, Y'all saw my little Prime video, huh? Y'all y'all know I'm, I'm hot to trot, right? Make sure y'all go on and subscribe. Hey, Miriam! Oh, yes! Hello, that's my homie right there. We're gonna have to get together, yes. Um, we want to make sure that, you know, you help us out. And y'all see our little goal up there at the top? Y'all, we hit 22 last night. I cannot believe this shit. Oh my gosh, look, we got a new Dr. follower, Dr. Dr. Z. Look at followers. this shit. Look at this, y'all showing some more love follow make sure you subscribe because y'all we are trying to do some major things for our diverse technologists out here um as you can see tonight we're gonna have a very special guest i'm so excited to have tiana on the show tonight but we are two black women about to drop that black girl magic on you we want to make it known you know what i'm saying that we out here diverse technologists can do this shit too and we're gonna have a little bit of fun as well my dogs have left me high and dry because i gave them treats and then they said well we don't need you no more. So y'all gonna help me determine whether or not I give them treats from this point forward. But let me go on without further ado and bring up my homie G. Hold on, let me see if I can get this shit up. Hold on, two up. That's us, right? Yeah, what's up, Tiana? Tell the people what they wanna know, sis. Tell them what they wanna Hi. know. <laughs> Hello. I'm so excited to be here. Hopefully my camera is working. You know, y'all know. You I look excellent, honey. That me. camera on that phone is kicking. It looks great. <laughs> it looks great. I don't great. know if I'm supposed to make that kind of face on Twitch, you know. People Man, baby, you can do whatever that, the hell you want on Twitch. <laughs> Just don't get butt naked because, you know, I'm not trying to <laughs> I'm not trying to have them kick me off tonight. That's Look, we got a few people already saying hi. Way. We got some E22, E20 up in here. They're about to graduate. We've got E66. They're starting, uh, what, in a few weeks. I actually think they're starting at the same time as uh, E24. So we got some, so, we got some noobs in here. That's correct. Yeah, I think yeah. in the next couple of weeks they're starting. I'm excited Man, for them. That's crazy, ain't it? 66, bro. That's 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 a big ass number. Um, I, I know y'all wondering why I got this hat on because <clears throat> my hair is a hot mess. I told you I had some trouble this morning, but without further ado, you know what I'm saying? We gonna we gonna ignore my hat because I know some of y'all being like, "Damn, what the hell she got on that damn hat?" Man, my hair is. I ain't gonna show you. My my husband asked me. I was downstairs <laughs> trying to grab me a, a, something quick. He said, uh, why you got the hat on? I said, man, my hair is a hot mess. He said, it ain't that bad, honey. I took the hat off. He said, yeah, baby, go on, put that back on. <laughs> go on, put that back on. <laughs> uh, 
So, Tiana, <laughs> tell everybody who you are. Because I know some people out here, you know, we have some intercessors who are here. But then we got some who ain't. You know, we got people all over the okay. world looking at us trying to, you know, be diverse, diversified in tech. So, tell them about yourself. Yes. Well, first things first, uh, my hair look is actually, she's doing her own thing today. She Dude, your does, hair but... looking fire, baby. <laughs> fire. <laughs> so kind of me. But usually, you know, whenever I have a bad hair day, I just wrap mine up. I, and somebody's like, oh, I like your hair wrap. I'm like, honey, it's just because I didn't want to do my hair. That's nothing Girl, special about it. I, that's <laughs> what I was looking for, but I couldn't find it. I ain't even going to lie. Because I didn't realize my hair was a hot mess until I went yeah. downstairs to go grab that sandwich. And I looked in the mirror and I was like, oh, shit. Yeah, we, we ain't. There's. I don't really care about my appearance too much, you know. I'm not, I'm not that type of chick. But I ain't finna get on there with my hair looking like that. You already know, black women, our hair, honey. That, that, you know, what I'm saying we, we gotta, the hair gotta yes. be, you know, laid a little bit. It ain't, it ain't gotta be perfect. But you know, you can't be walking around <laughs> looking like no peacock. You know what I'm saying? Everything else, forget it. The hair, no, she's gonna be on check. That's, yeah. That's the point. <laughs> um. Well, Dr. I'm Steven, so thank excited you for having to me. have you. So you are, <laughs> yes. you work in the day uh, program at National Software School um, as a junior instructor for the web development program, right? I do. It's been like, oh my god, it's, I think it's been like six or eight months. I think it's been like eight Has months. Has it been now. that long? I, oh my god! I, yeah, I know time is flying by. Oh they say that god. happens when you're having fun, though. So <laughs> girl, they gonna, gonna kick your ass time. out in a minute, honey. I know. You, <laughs> Are you ready to get no. out into the, the, the developer world and do it? Like, I, I, So here's the thing I think that most people don't understand about junior instructors because I think that they think that most are like top of the class or maybe you, I don't know. Like, were you ta- like, how did you end up being a junior instructor and how has it changed your perspective now that you're about to get mm-hmm. out, you know what I'm saying, start looking for jobs here in a minute? Absolutely. Yeah, you're right. I think sometimes, I mean, even now I go into the class and I I still have to say like probably 20 times to the students that I'm with that, honey, I was not right. Like I was not in front of everybody. I did. I struggled through the front end, specifically through the front end. I had a hard time Um, and it's intense. It really is an intense boot camp. I mean, being a woman of color, which I'm sure we could get into deep conversations about this another time. But going through this course, I believe is exceptionally hard for women and women of color specifically. And so, you know, I love it though. And I think most of the junior instructors that I have been working with, none of us are the ones that were exceedingly spectacular through the course. You know, things were hard for us. I just, I'm not to brag, but I do bring that perspective, which is really fun. I'm glad that I can connect with the people that I'm helping in the class about, you know, feeling like you're not on top of it and mm-hmm. um, and the struggles. And, you know, honey, if I'm here, baby, you can get here, too. We're going to be just fine. And I'm not going to let you fall. Mm-hmm. And that's the thing. I think we, we have this concept or this idea that, like, even the people who are moving quickly are not failing. And that's not true. That is not true. I went into NSS with umpteen years of experience with low self-esteem because being a black woman in tech at that point was was just kind of, I was trying to decide whether or not I was going to stay. And all the stuff mm-hmm. that I knew, I mean, I was good at some shit, don't get me wrong, but I still struggled with concepts. And I think people automatically assume because you're in a position that they consider authoritative or whatever that, you know, or because you've been doing this for a while or because you're moving fast that you automatically have it. It's just processing speeds, right? And so that's one of the reasons why I wanted us to start doing this live stream is so that they can see different aspects and different varieties of people, you know, because people look at me, my students always tell me, Dr. T, I was so intimidated by you. Um, (laughs) You intimidate, and, and I hate when people tell me that because I'm like, baby, I mean, yeah, I'm gonna call you on your shit. I mean, that's just who I am, you know what I'm saying? But it's because <laughs> I know you're here for a goal and I wanna help you get there. Actually, I wanna help you exceed your goal. And I know what it's like being, like you said, a diverse technologist, what things you're gonna face. And I just wanna prepare you for that, right? It's not about being 10 times, exactly. I don't believe in the hype of t- being 10 times better. Yes, that's the way that my, my career has gone. Um, and I fed into that, but it's gotten me 10 times more stress, 10 times more anxiety, all that other stuff, right? I think that we are enough. And as long as we continue to show that, you know what I'm saying? I think the community will be open to that. And so that's why I'm excited that you're here with me tonight, because I think we're going to have us a good old time. Y'all, yes. Tatiana, 
excuse me, I don't know why I keep wanting to call you Tatiana. Tiana. Tiana <laughs> That's okay. Because, honey, you That's know, okay. boo, because you're from my favorite, my favorite Disney movie, honey. You already know, honey, because I'm from New Orleans, too. Look, I, that's, that's, that's why that's my favorite, baby. Mm, I'm like, yeah, honey. I, but actually, I've been texting some, I've been texting two Tatianas today. Um, and I'm honest. It's easy to get it mixed so, up. There's, it's easy to get it mixed up. No, nah, but I don't like, I don't play that. I don't play that with people's names. You know what I'm saying? I respect I'm like, that. Look, the name is Me important. You know? What the hell? Oh, the Trevor Project. What is that? I don't know what the hell that is. It just popped up on my screen. Okay. Well, I guess I should say if you look on the tw- 30,000 followers. I don't even know why they say that. On me. <laughs> um, I don't know what happened to my gold thing. I think somebody may have done something. Yeah, that's what I said. Uh, but I, I do have a, this month is Pride Month. And so I do have um, a fundraiser going for the Trevor Project, which, uh, which kind of, which goes towards helping those in the LGBTQA uh, buy, gay, lesbian, whatever those, you know, areas are who are dealing with mental health issues um, and to, you know, lower the instance of suicide. Um, I have people who I love. I am an ally. Um, I am genderqueer myself, right? I happen to be married to a husband. Um, But, you know, the way that I feel is that love is love and we should just all be moving, but we all should be taking care of each other as well. So as we uh, celebrate Pride Month and all the love and all the the happiness, if y'all want to get together, you know what I'm saying? Go ahead and get it done. Look, they talk about some malware. (laughs) (laughs) <laughs> Look y'all, don't be putting that shit on me. Don't be putting that shit on me. <laughs> don't do that to me. My Look, goodness. I'm gonna I'm actually gonna go over here to my goal. Uh let me see if I can get the, see every time I, I start something, girl, something like this end up happening. Uh something weird happening with the thing? Yeah, it's but... a well it says the Trevor Project, which is I mean, I don't know why they say that. Um But oh, see, it popped up here too. Follow goal. Child, I don't know what's going on over here, honey. Uh help. Uh-uh. <laughs> so don't be putting that voodoo up in here. Hey, but <laughs> not, I'll take them 13, 37 followers, though. <laughs> Look, I'll take them all. I'm but I'm like, where that come oh from? <laughs> so there we go. Uh-uh. There we go. Oh, sub points go started. Oh, that was, that was me starting this thing. Yeah, I don't really even know what the hell that is. <laughs> um, child, look, Twitch over here be 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 getting me be getting me messed up, honey. I'm still learning some shit over here. All right, y'all. Y'all know what to do. We're about to start this journey into uh, something. We're going to figure it out. <laughs> I'm like, look, we're going to figure it out. <laughs> Y'all know we busting. The, move, the music is booming. You know what I'm saying? As it always is. You know? Hey, how you doing that girl? Renee, 2917. Hey, we're we doing some logic tonight. <laughs> now, I'm in Grit Hub right here. And mm-hmm. um, this is where I'm, I have the Learn to Code um course open and so we've been through several of these things already um tiana you weren't here with us but you're gonna be here tonight on the, some of the hardest shit you know what i'm saying we, we played with them variables a little bit we did some mathematical operations work with some strings okay. and arrays last night we started doing some functions um that actually helped us okay. with you know some of the stuff that we use and tonight we're gonna start piecing it all together with even more logic so we're gonna have that I logic and then it. we're gonna put them functions together and we're gonna put all this stuff together, y'all. And then we're gonna be, be cro- programmers before the end of the night. Holla if you hear me. Go on, show me some love if you're ready for that. <laughs> I know I am. It's I'm insane how ready. fast the pieces start to piece together. <laughs> yes. And it's crazy because like when you first start learning JavaScript, you're like, damn, this variable shit is boring or this, <laughs> you know, this stuff is boring, but my brain is not taking it in because it's boring. But then it, but then you get the functions and it's like stuff starts speeding up and you're like, yep. oh, this is why I needed to, to know this. And this makes more sense now, um, mm-hmm. you know, because now exactly. I'm actually using it. <laughs> so um, like I'm the start, you're like, do tonight. Oh, go ahead. what am I going to do with an array of fruit? What is that? <laughs> <laughs> then you realize you know the power behind it <laughs> yeah oh why am i popping and pushing last night we was popping and pushing real good you know what i'm saying mm-hmm. <laughs> it was like what the hell we finna do with that well you gonna see baby you gonna see um because Trust the plan the is after we get through the javascript fundamentals we're actually gonna build us an app we're gonna build a to-do app using um crud functionality and then we're gonna deploy that application we're gonna learn how to debug that application i mean in the next three weeks we, we about to hit it hard y'all we about to hit it hard that's what it's gonna be. All right, so I'm gonna click on this first lesson, um, and it is about understanding Boolean values. Now, do you say Boolean or do you say Boolean? What, what's your oh, what's your repertoire? I definitely say Boolean. Okay, yeah, I, I, I've only known one person in my career to call it Boolean. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Boolean. 
Like Booleen. Like Booleen. Like Jolene. Jolene. Booleen. Booleen. Like that. And it sounds like some some uh some baloney. You know what I'm saying? When somebody say bullying, <laughs> it reminds me of bologna sandwiches. You know what I'm talking about? When you fry it yeah. in the pot and then the center of it get that bubble in it. Y'all know what I'm talking about. If you ain't never had a bologna sandwich before. <laughs> no, I do. My mama used to fry fry the bologna and then it just starts to do this like rounding mm-hmm. out a little bit. <laughs> mm-hmm. Man, I ate bologna so much when I was a little girl, I can't even eat it now. It makes me sick. Yeah. That's how much bologna I was getting with. Yes, for real. What do you uh, do about the bubble? You cut it? Nah, bro. I don't cut the bubble, honey. I bite it. I, I used to bite it. You know what I'm saying? Yes. That's what I used to do. Ah, you took me way to back happen. with the bologna sandwich. Yes, honey. And don't look. Don't get me started with some syrup sandwiches. Look, look let's not talk about sandwiches because I'm extra hungry tonight. Um, me too. So I'm not. I'm not finna deal with them sandwiches. But listen, <laughs> this is what we gonna do. So last night, this is what I did. Um, and tell me what you think, Tiana, about this. Okay. Um, so usually what I try to do, because Free Code Camp, as you know, see, it, it has this this stuff in here that you got to read. Um, mm-hmm. And sometimes it's a little bit more complex than what, you know, than a beginner can fully understand. Right. And so we're like, oh, just go through it and figure it out. Well, I'm of the camp that that's OK. But if we out here doing a damn thing, we may as well explain it. You know what I'm saying? So exactly. what I like to do is, is I like to go and pull up my trusty slide decks, okay? So that we <laughs> yeah. can talk about this shit before we actually hit it. You know what I'm saying? Because when we hit it, we want to hit it. You know, we got exactly. us a whole big agenda tonight. And I know y'all thinking, how the hell we going to get through? Y'all, we finna get through all of these mugs. You know why? Trust the process. Because each one of these things is very small. And you're going to see why. Because we're going to go through this damn conditional statements thing I got here. All right, y'all got to show me some so love important. now. Yes, it is. Hey, if y'all up in here, y'all got to show us some love now. I know y'all hitting this, uh, loving this this playlist. <laughs> Tiana, let me tell you something, honey. I got me a new program for playlists. Mm-hmm. It is so good. It's uh, Epidemic <laughs> Sound is the name of the company. And they have oh. the best royalty-free music ever. I mean, it's not free. When I think of royalty-free, I think of free. It ain't free. But yeah, I have had a struggle with finding good music and having to make playlists myself. And I don't even have to do that there. It's like an Amazon music for royalty-free shits. You know what I'm saying? When you buy a song, do you get to keep the song? Like, is it? Do you have to keep paying for it? Is it like a subscription or? No. So up? you get a monthly subscription and you get access to their whole library. So you can just make oh. playlists with their library. Yeah, it's dope. Switch it up. Switch mm-hmm. it up. And see, yeah. some of these okay. songs, I think people buy so that they can like actually sing on or something. Because sometimes I be feeling like I'm gonna go. You know what I'm saying? I, I talk about going to rap school and shit. I feel like I can throw down. You know what I'm saying? So if I break Not out, rap tonight, here doing a code rap. <laughs> hey, hey, you gonna hook us up with one tonight? Um, I, I am not a rapper. I can. I'll help you make the beat. I'll add to the beat. Okay, well, I, I'll give you that. I'll give you that I'll one. But, but you gotta at you least know, try. Okay. You know what I'm saying? You gotta at least try. <laughs> All right. Um, I'll give you. I'll give it a go with you. <laughs> okay. We gonna get us. Some, I'm sure we gonna get us one. We are gonna be like, oh, we are gonna have to turn that up and start rapping on that one. True. All right, Tiana. So I'm gonna put you in a spot. Right now, we're going to okay. talk about bo- Boolean values. Okay. You want to tell us what those are and, you know, what they're all about? Okay, yeah. Well, to me, when I think of a Boolean, I think of a on or off switch, which you'll read that. I think that's a very common explanation for it in descriptions on, like, Code Camp or wherever you're looking at. But I think of it like my light switch in my bedroom, too. It's like it's either up or down. There's a, a one or the other way for it, right? Uh, forward or back. But I think of it as a yes or no, too. There's so many ways you could think of it, but it's a, it's a one or the other. So mm-hmm. um, this makes you, whatever you're trying to get more specific. So mm-hmm. to me, I think Boolean is just like a switch. It's a yes or a no or an on or an off. I love that. I love that. And you know, I'm going. I'm actually going to pull up because y'all already know I got to show y'all my drive account at least once um, <laughs> per per stream. See, I'll be actually trying to get my shit in order before I start. Um, but this is how I teach to y'all. I'll be, I'll be like, all right, y'all, let's pull this up. Let's talk about it. Um, but we definitely not <laughs> yes. going to be doing it on this white background. We ain't going to be doing that. Um, let me let me pick a theme that uh, that don't have one. There we go. Ooh, yes. Well, shit. The background. The whole thing. <laughs> the background of the thing. All right, so let's think about it like this, right? 
because here's the thing that we did not do that I want to start doing in the evenings and Tiana tell me if this makes sense to you because you've been through the program now a couple times right once as a student and then once as a as an instructor um, I've been through mm-hmm. it several times and one of the things I feel like students or uh, learning engineers that's what I want to call them right current learning engineers deal with is the concept of coding versus programming these yes. two things are different things okay you can be a programmer and not know how to code. Let me say that again. You can be a programmer and not know how to code. Okay? Now, you can't be a coder or a developer or an engineer without knowing how to code or programming, right? So it's kind of both of the same thing, right? Programming is a different frame of mind. And I think sometimes when we throw students or we throw learning engineers into the code, that's all they see, right? It's like, oh, I gotta, I gotta make the code solve this thing. But no, what you need to do is, is you need to understand the problem and then you need to try to solve it. And then once you solve it, you try to use code in order to get it. Uh-oh, Tiana, are you there? Did I do something? Oh no, did I kick her out? <laughs> Look, don't let me. Okay, we may have lost a four second. She'll probably be back in a second. Okay. Oh, I thought I had kicked out, y'all. Lord help us. Look, don't look, don't don't call the post. Oh, there we go. <laughs> I was like, wait a minute, did I did I kick you out? <laughs> like shit. Because girl, I be I fucking up over here. I be messing up all the time. <laughs> I be messing up all the time. Oh my god. <sighs> Give me one sec. I'm gonna reconnect my headphones. Oh, I have no fine. idea what happened. You are fine, honey. Look, this this is this is just the way it works. You know what I'm saying? We 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 give each other grace. I believe in grace. You know what I'm saying? Grace grace is what you're gonna need throughout your whole code journey. You, you better start giving it to yourself early on. You know what I'm saying? So uh-huh. do y'all understand like, what I'm oh. talking about when I say programmers don't need to know how to code? Do y'all understand what I'm talking about? Because I'm about to show you here in a second. Because I think programming is critical before you before you even learn how to code. Oh no. Okay. Well we we about to show you. I think I think I think a lot of people think uh, program it's kind of like arguments and um, and parameters. We think they're synonymous, right? That we think we they're interchangeable, that like we can change those up a little bit. And I think just with 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 the with the culture of it all we think oh when we think of a programmer we automatically think of someone who can code right nah nah fam that's that's not necessarily it okay um the two went hand in hand yes they do go hand in hand Mm -hmm. they do go hand in hand however you don't need to you don't need to know how to code to be a programmer okay here's why if i'm dealing with logic okay let's say i have a problem all right i'm trying to determine and this is where my little my little thing come out y'all don't talk about my shit all right i'm trying to determine which box the, something goes in all right so i'm gonna do toys in this one you know what i'm gonna be more specific stuffed animals in this one okay and then i'm gonna do blocks in this one y'all with me on this one Y'all see we got two different boxes. I'm actually gonna give them some different colors so we can see that they're different here. All right, we got two different blocks. As a programmer, I need to determine what the logic is. Oh, you're still in the green room. Okay, hold on. Here we go. I reconnected with my laptop. Is this oh, better than last time? Yes, it is, it's much better. Cause okay. honey, you was like, look, I ain't finna be messing with y'all tonight. <laughs> I don't, I don't Tiana, like, look. Up with my thing, y'all. I'll tell okay. you what. <laughs> y'all, show Tiana some love. Uh, Let her know it's all good. <laughs> no, it's yes. not. You know what? This is part of Tech 2, technical difficulties. It sure is. And we just going to keep Can't rocking and rolling. Let me tell you, when I'm exactly. at the at the meetup, it's 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 at least one or two two times a night that the Twitch stream just die. And they be having yeah. this person on there with their hands on their head like this. And I just jump back on. I'm like, look, y'all, if you hear, you hear. If you ain't, you ain't. You know what I'm saying? What, what more can we do about it? You know? Um, so, live. yeah. So let's say we have a problem, right? And the problem is um, <clears throat> we have. Oh, shoot. We have a pile of toys 
okay? And we need to sort them. What use cases do we have here? So when we talk about a use case, what use case are we solving for, right? Um, it, if I have, uh, let's say cars, toy cars, where do they go? Well, we're not solving for that use case, right? Right now we're solving specifically for stuffed animals or blocks, right? That's what we're doing right now, right? So as a programmer, I'm like, okay, I have to figure out how this is gonna work. I have to figure out what the logic is in order to get the stuffed animals into the box. Y'all are doing this all the time when you play, uh, what, Candy Crush? Child be playing the hell out of some Candy Crush. <laughs> that's right. <laughs> that's, that, that, that's my default whenever I need to de-stress. Um, oh, this is that song that I like right here. Oh, shh. <sighs> we had to break out some song. Okay. I heard this. One. Yeah. No, nah, I ain't gonna do it. I ain't gonna do it because I, I want to stay on tap. I want to stay focused tonight. <laughs> All right. So as a programmer, I'm trying to figure out how can I get the logic together in order to make this work. Have we written a line of code yet? Nope. We have not written a line of code yet because we're not at that point yet. We're still trying to figure out what's going on, what the process is, right? That we need to take in order to make sure that the use cases that we've identified specifically for blocks and stuffed animals, we can accomplish that, okay? So what I'm gonna do is, is I'm gonna do flowchart-ish type shit. Y'all probably did this in grade school. I know I did, um, where we did like the yes, no, the decision blocks and stuff like that. Y'all know what I'm talking about? Yep. So do it. first thing, actually, here's what I'm gonna do. So I'm on, this, I like to do, you know, let me put that shape back. Um, I like to do it in, in order. So I like to say one. The first thing we're gonna do is grab a toy from the pile, right? What's the second thing you think we're gonna do? Mm. I know at some point we're gonna need to check to see what kind of toy we grabbed. Yeah, what is it? Yep, yep, yep. Uh, so how do we, so how do we want to do that? Do we want to how do how do we determine that? Like how do we determine whether something because the computer is you know what I'm saying is dumb. So how yeah. do we determine something if something is a block or a stuffed animal? Mm. We need to determine if it has some attributes, doesn't it? Don't we? Yeah, exactly. Okay. So, so hmm. maybe. I guess we we could compare the attributes from the two piles that we're separating these toys into and see if the toy we grab matches any of the attributes that mm -hmm. we're expecting for either of the animal or plot. So maybe before we start going through the logic of it, maybe we identify what those things are when we talk about what they are down here so that we already yeah. know what those are, and usually we use those in a uh, in a document called the Entity Relationship Diagram, an ERD. Yep. All right, so that kind of that kind of describes our data for us, so we know what we're trying to get. So when we think of stuffed animals, what attributes would a stuffed animal have? Man, I, I picked some hard shit. Maybe I should have just did a car no, instead of stuff. This animals. is good. <laughs> this is good. Look, no, we got we got stuffing, and we could add ears i don't know okay stuffing so we're gonna say ears. stuffing mm -hmm. and then ears yeah so let's since instead of saying stuffed animals let's say uh st we could say a specific type oh stitching Stuff. i like that one. Ooh, yeah look we look we doing, yeah stitching mm. Child, we could just say know. like stuffed bunny or something okay yeah let's do that stuffed bunny Let's get specific on this one. This song needs to chill out. <laughs> Why? What's wrong You're with it? You don't like it? Because it's too good. No, it's I'm over here like, <laughs> we got a stuff bunny, stuffy. Ears. Okay, so that's what that's what we gonna say. Oh, ooh, 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 and it's gotta have it's gotta have a cotton, a cotton tail. Yes. You know what I'm saying? Perfect. All right, so what about our blocks? Okay. Mmm wood we could say it's got, okay it's so we're going wood. so we're going with the wood blocks okay 
I'm feeling it. Sure, all right. yeah. <laughs> all right, so we're gonna do wood. Uh, mm, I mean, I'm trying to think. What's that? What else on a block? Uh, maybe geometric. Okay, geometric in shape. Okay, uh, maybe hard. Is it hard? Like, is it? Yeah. Firm. Mm -hmm. Yeah. So Solid. Shape. That's a good one. Solid. I like that better. Solid. Okay. So let's stick with. Yeah. Oh, let's do one more since each one has four. Wood, geometric uh, shape, solid. Um, and can cause bodily harm. <laughs> 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 if you threw it at somebody's <laughs> head. <laughs> that is distinguishably different than the stuffed bunny. So it could I mean, work. let's keep it real on that one. You know what I'm saying? Like, you know, if, if somebody get mad at you, I'm pretty sure you want them to throw the stuffed bunny at your head and not a block. You exactly. know, especially the block that we're determining right now. Um, so I'm going to say can cause harm. <laughs> Perfect. Okay. Now, now that we've defined these attributes on each one of these things, now we kind of know what we're looking for when we grab something from a pile. Right? Yeah. Is everybody with me? If you yeah. ain't with me, let me know. See, we, 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 this, this, Tiana, tell them this is the hard part. This is the planning that nobody wants to do that actually makes the coding so much more easier. Right? Which is why programming exactly. takes a logic, it takes a logic mindset, a logic brain, right? When you start mm -hmm. coding, you take the logic from the programmer or from the programming or the planning that you did and write the code to fit exactly. it. That's why it's, ag this is agnostic. I could write this in JavaScript. I could do it in Python. I could do it in Ruby. I could do it in Cobalt, <laughs> Java. <laughs> <laughs> I'm just pulling shit out my ass now. You really can. It's just so important. I think this is one of the hardest skill sets that it takes to learn. This is one of the benefits of going through NSS, but also being here, even if you're not going through NSS, you know, we're going to show you that now, but it is planning mm -hmm. ahead of time, thinking analytically and algorithmically, setting yourself up for success. Yeah. See, I hear, I hear the algorithmic thinking a lot. I, to me, the algorithmic thinking though, is more on the coding side. So True. we want we want to make sure that we keep that separation because I don't even want you thinking about code at all right now. I want you thinking about how as a user, right? Because that's that's who we build software for. We build software for users, whether those users are non-technical people or technical people, right? We need to think about how are we going to make their lives better or how are we going to improve a process or how are we going to do something better, right? And so Absolutely. in this case, we, child, I don't know if you, I got kids, honey. And when I go in a room, it'd be a hot mess. That's why we talk about piles of toys, honey. Because um, <laughs> the cleaning lady came over the other day and was like, honey, I don't think I'm going to be able to go through that. I was like, I wouldn't want you to. You know what I'm saying? Because I ain't going mm -hmm. through it, right? So exactly. if we have this problem, how do I, how do we help them solve it? Mm -hmm. Right? Um, so, yeah, the first thing we want to do in if real world situations would be a programmer that doesn't know code, be working in the code with pseudo code. Yes. A lot of programmers can pseudocode. Um, I feel like this is a form of pseudocoding myself, um, but programming is about dealing with logic. Okay, mm. and I, you know, I would, I would, I would maybe do some research on that. Um, I, when I first started my career, I actually worked with programmers, um, and that's how I learned to become really, really good as a as an engineer um, because I wasn't traditionally trained. There was I didn't go to school for it. Um, and so seeing their kind of like flow charts and how they thought about things helped me make my code more effective and efficient as well. And it also made it testable, um, which is something, you know, you'll learn later on as well. I just write whatever makes sense to me at the time, then go back and figure out how to do it right. DMJ3, <laughs> cut that shit out. Nobody asked you none of that. Stop that. <laughs> Nonetheless, if you show up for yourself and you, 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 Think about what it is that you need. That's the first step. Forget mm -hmm. everything else that I said too. Yes. The first thing you need to think about is what do I need? And if I was the consumer or the user, right, what would I like want? And you meet mm -hmm. those things with the needs of the person who's asking for it, mm -hmm. right? I mean, have you ever used an app and you thought, damn, they thought of everything? Yes. You know, it's like, God, oh, I mean, they thought of every, even things that I would have never even, that I, that I didn't realize was a pain point for me. They thought of that. Mm -hmm. It's because mm -hmm. of this process, right? I think sometimes I also forget to think about that because sometimes it's become so nuanced. You don't realize how conveniently 
placed things are or the accessibility of things. So, yeah. Yeah, that's exactly what he doing. The DMJ three pieces. <laughs> Child, he, he barely got gum, honey. Barely got some gum. You know what I'm saying? He got that old hard gum from under the bottom of the of the thing trying to, you know, reach you oh it to make God. it sticky again. Y'all know what I'm talking about. <laughs> All right, so we do see an ad is about to start. I can't snooze it. I've been snoozing um, the entire time I've been over here. So if you are not a subscriber, if you have a Prime membership, use it because you won't see any ads. Um, but if not, we'll see you when you get back in maybe 40 seconds or whatever. Oh, well, I don't I don't know how long this is. The ad's going to start in 30 seconds. But please watch the ads. They help support um, the channel and help support us supporting diverse technologists. Okay? All right. So let's get back to this. The first thing we want to do is grab a toy from the pile. Now that we've established what attributes each one of these toys have, right, we're probably going to ask ourselves some questions. Right? Yep. Okay. So we're probably going to say, let's, let's solve for the bunny to start. Okay? Okay. Does the toy have stuffing? Actually, let me do this. Let me make this a little bit more because I want to do this more. Uh, what you call it? So let's do this. Gonna be the first thing. Oh shit! Y'all don't mind me. I know my students right now laughing if they if they watch it being like, damn, Dr. T really showing how she be how she be doing in our class. They be like, damn, you just pulled up a, a slide that could just start it. Damn, why this thing ain't working? Oh, command. I'm trying to. There we go. <laughs> just copy and paste this shit <laughs> let me stop trying to be extra there is a keystroke you can do that will give you you know what i'm saying uh yep okay. I understand. okay so next we're gonna say uh does it have stuffing yeah i did do it once thank you thank you for remembering that i did do that once because i'm like i know i already did it all right it's the thought that counted it really is thank you so much for, for loving me <laughs> it's okay Okay. So I do if commands it, so I love it don't be working yeah, what sometimes. Is, I'm, 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 done to, <laughs> I'm mad as hell now that that, that little shortcut yeah. key ain't working for me. You know what I'm saying? I'm really upset. <laughs> okay. So one, we grab the toy from the pile. Two, does it have stuffing? Okay, so what happens? What happens if it if it does have stuffing? Oh, you know what Ow. we need to do? Oh, we need to make some of these the same. So instead of these ears, let's do this because we won't we won't make it. We want to make it a little, Ooh. yeah. We want we want to add some variety of society up in there. Yeah, I see what you're saying. Mm -hmm. They're both solid. Oh, they are both solid. You know, you are right. Okay, that is so true. <laughs> yeah. Oh my gosh, I didn't think I was thinking like hard. You know what I'm saying, like yeah. hard solid. But yeah, you're right. No. Technically, you're right. Don't 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 tell <laughs> nobody, y'all. We out here living. We trying to live our best life. All right, so what I'm going to do is, this actually should be like a triangle, right? It's a decision. Mm -hmm. right? Yeah. Damn. All right, so I'm going gonna, I'm gonna to copy this and paste this down here and say, no. So what happens if, if it doesn't have stuffing? <laughs> then we should check and see if it has a property on our other toy option which okay is so why should we do that well because like you said before right maybe we're pulling a toy from the pile that isn't the two that we're trying to sort out right now so yes. we still need to make sure we still need to make sure that we're pulling one or the other of these toys because we could pull out a different toy that still doesn't meet the, ex the exceptions of the box too, you know? <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. <laughs> did y'all hear that knowledge drop right there? <laughs> oh, no. <laughs> because, because a non-analytical mind would think, oh, no, it's a block. If, if, it, if it doesn't have stuffing, then it's a block, right? But we haven't taken into consideration that there might be other variations or other other things that we're not aware of, right? Yes. So what we need to do then is is we probably need to do a check, right? So let's just say wood is a, is something that's unique only to blocks, okay? So let's say copy paste. So let's say okay, no. Then we're gonna check. 
maybe we check the thing that's unique, right? That's the first thing I would do. I wouldn't go down something that has attributes that are the same, right? Amoeba shape. Exactly. <laughs> I would do yeah. the one thing that's unique, right? I probably would have started with that one because then we know what all is like. That's okay, right? <laughs> all right, so it's, uh, is it wood? Okay. And if the answer to that is no, what do we do? Well, I guess something I would ask myself is what are we... You know, I know we're trying to sort the two piles, but maybe I just for a quick second think about where I'm expecting toys that don't meet my expectation to go. Mm -hmm. Am I just, what am, am I returning these toys? How, how am I going to view them? What are, what am I doing? They're just going to go to an, an, another pile or are we just going to set it back? You know? you know what? I think at this Ignore point, it. since we're not handling that case, we just don't care. We'll just let them okay. die. We'll just let them go. We'll just exactly. Let them go. Then that's it. We just mm -hmm. forget the, the toy. Boy. We don't do anything. But who gets to make that decision? Well, that's a great question. <laughs> well, if it doesn't meet the conditions. We do. See, Chevalier Leonardo is trying to help you right there. You see what I'm saying? <laughs> Yeah. See, Deanna, hey, when I, look, listen, when, when it sounds like it's something like, damn, what the hell is she talking about? They know what I'm doing. They know what I'm doing. They've been here long enough. We do. <laughs> right? We do, because we don't give a shit about nothing else right now except for that stuffed bunny and the blocks, right? Because maybe we're donating those and keeping everything else, or maybe we're keeping those and donating everything else. Who knows what, you know, what that is, right? But we've decided that we're just going to let it all fall through the cracks, right? So we're just going to say stop right oh actually stop should probably be red you know i'm gonna keep it there though we'll we'll make we'll make no pink or something <laughs> you know what let's make it let's make it purple yes let's do that yeah. okay so i we, guess a we, good way to think of that is yeah like if it doesn't meet my expectations then just stop trying to assess what the toy is. Like, there's no mm -hmm. reason to keep going on, right? That's right. That's right. Um, now, here's the thing is that because we've done this and we understand this, we understand that if a new case, a new use case comes into fruit, comes to thing, we, we already have some some standards in place that are checking. So then we would just pick up from where we started on the stop and keep moving forward, right? But here, we're just going to say stop. We don't care about that, okay? Is everybody with me? If you with me, show me some love now. Show Tiana and I some love. You know what I'm saying? Tiana looking great over there tonight. You know what I'm saying? And I'm She's looking so all right sweet. with this damn Predator's hat on, honey. No, we both look great. We both look great. Oh, yes. I'm sexy, baby. Yeah, I, If you don't know, you better ask somebody, honey. I am sexy as hell. <laughs> You know oh no, what I'm I know, I know. Look, oh I was goodness. look, I was telling the uh the, the dentist today, honey, I was like, I need you to patch me up and do whatever, because <laughs> I got to be sexy on my Twitch stream tonight. You know what I'm saying? Like I got I got exactly. to be sexy. They know me as sexy. Uh oh, another 66 er <laughs> in the house. Yes. Okay. Damn, all these 66. Ooh. Man, where the where the E24 at? Come on, bro. Y'all better represent. Oh, wait a minute. No. I see what happened. Somebody donated to the Trevor Project. $13.37. That's why that popped up. Whoever, wait, who did that? Thank you, whoever did that. See, y'all, I don't be knowing what the hell be going on with this damn thing. <laughs> E24, there we go. Coddington Andrew 8. I'm going to find you and I'm going yes. to send you some whispers or something. On Twitch, when you send a, a DM, it's called a whisper. I did not know that. I was like, what the hell is this? Why is it whispering? Oh. A DM it's, on Twitch is a yeah, whisper? Yeah, it's called a whisper. That's kind of cute. Okay. <laughs> I, I don't, no, that sounds kind of freaky to me. You know what I'm saying? Like, hey, baby, come on. Oh, it does. Oh, it's gaming terminology. Okay, thank you. See, you done made me look <laughs> stupid. I'm going to edit this out of this thing. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Okay. <laughs> All right, so now we're going to go with the affirmative. We're going to go with the yes. Uh-oh. Oh, gifted a subscription Skybox to the community. Skybox. Skybox. gifted one Yay! subscription to the community. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Thank you for showing us love, y'all. So, Tiana, I'm actually doing a summer camp 
And uh, I want the kids, because, you know, usually they do, like, Scratch and shit like that. I don't want them in Scratch. I want them using actual developer stuff, and we're going to send them books, and we're going to work through that. Um, so that's that's really what I'm, I'm – uh, the subs are going to help me with. So I'm really excited about well, – I say help me, help Repton Tech crew with. Um, the leadership is like, yeah, we, we got to give back. We got to give back to the community. Get them kids Stop. up in here. Sound that alarm one more time, because that's Which a one? kudos for you. The what? Boop, 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 boop. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> yes, indeed, that, Weedy. That is you know amazing. You know what? They I'm say so to whom to much that. is given, much is required. That came from the Bible. You might think it came from Spider Man. I've seen it in both places. <laughs> Just pick your choice. You know what I'm saying? Um, yeah. But yeah, it's it's one of those things. We you know we we did we did a thing. We went to um, a local inner city school here, and we worked with. Girl, if I tell you the ideas that they came up with, and they were so serious about their ideas, it, oh my God, I just have to tell you about that experience one day. It was remarkable. And I was like, this is what I'm supposed to be doing. So I probably oh. gonna end up being a high school teacher or something one day here soon. Um, but all right, They're so let's stay ready. focused because we got what, like nine minutes before it's time for us to do our little stretching. Um, okay. All right, so now let's say yes. Let's say it does have stuffing. Okay, yeah. Um, is there anything else we need to check for? Oh shit, I messed up on that one. Well, I guess it depends on if this is something that's unique about this specific toy. So mm -hmm. if the stuffing is the unique property or um, ailment of this toy, then I think that and I don't this is we fine. don't know and I'm gonna say no, it's not unique. Okay. To it. Because okay. this is a stuffed bunny. What if we had a stuff a stuff alligator? True. Okay. You know what I'm They're saying? both gonna have stuffing. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Okay. You know what I think is a unique property to this object, but it would be the cotton tail. I feel mm -hmm. like you know probably the bunny has the only the bunny has a cotton tail. So I would probably check the unique thing next to see. Right? Mm -hmm. Just cut the middleman. We're gonna just cut out all the noise. This is very unique about this thing. Let's just check and see if it has it. If it does, we know it's that. Mm -hmm. Now, in our code, what we're gonna learn tonight is that we're gonna see that we can actually, instead of doing each one of these individually, we could actually merge these together, right? We can combine mm -hmm. these together using logical operators. But I want y'all to see how, how the skill works, right? Um, how you evaluate things or even how the computer is going to evaluate it right even though we even though we might use logical operators to look at the why does, man every time i push my mouse has been doing it yeah i'm telling you i think this medicine got me got me so <laughs> we go lie i'm over here feeling high as a kite um but um <laughs> it it the computer will look at each one it'll evaluate the first one first and then the second one right so it's still an order of things right so if we say no it doesn't have a cottontail, then what happens? Oh, that girl Cree. Oh, uh, thank you. Gifted a subscription. Gifted one subscription to the community. Wait, what is that? Oh, that is Cree. Oh, that's the power of Grayskull. Hold on, that's not the one I was looking for. I was looking for this one. <laughs> thank you. Thank you, Cree. Oh, that's Grayskull. Oh, that's Grayskull. Oh, that's Grayskull. Man, y'all showing much love. I love it. I love it. Okay, so if it's no, I need to work okay. on my arrow game. My arrow game is not tight at all, bro. But don't tell nobody. You're doing great. No, you're exact. doing great. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you so much. I hope so like too. Mm-hmm. Well, because you know when you're thinking about it, you know you you you're doing it's your like, thing. Um. Yeah. So we know that that's unique, and it doesn't have it. So I'm going to say that we just going to stop on that one because exactly. at that point we know it's not a cottontail, right? Um, we know it doesn't have wood because that was the, you know, we asked if it was no, then it went here, right? Actually, no, we probably need to ask if it's wood at that point. No, because this doesn't have, right? Okay. Yeah. yeah I'm looking at these variations. Yeah. Stuffing, neither one of them have stuffing. So we just gonna say logically we're just gonna now our logic may be me might be wrong right and we'll learn that through our code right but we need yeah. to we need to evaluate or or try it and fail which is something that new engineers struggle with trying and failing tiana yeah. talk to us about that because you're closer to this than i am 
Tell me about that trying and failing game. How you working on that one? Um, I fail so that I can try again. That's what I do. Mm -hmm. <laughs> you know, I do. You know, I think I'm here because the small little victory. But developer, being a developer is really about bug after bug. You solve one thing, you're gonna come across another thing, and you're just gonna have to fail till you get it. And I, if you're going through NSS, I want you to fail. I want you to fail. That's how you're going to learn, baby. I mm. promise you. NSS or not, you got to, right? And I'm going to tell you, in the industry, the reason that I feel like failure is important is because in the industry, I started my career 25 years ago, y'all. I'm only 27. So I started when I was two. Um, <laughs> y'all didn't get that one. <laughs> <laughs> I was doing the math for a second. I was Girl, I almost, I almost <laughs> messed up on the mat. Oh, you got a hey yo up in here. Tiana, let's go. Miss Honey Creeper. Said uh -huh. hello to you. Said uh hello to you. Yes. You got some You got some love. <laughs> oh, hi. <laughs> Who is that? Who, That's the thing about Twitch. You? you don't know. You don't know. Um, they'll they'll creep up on you. They 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 say Miss Honey Creeper. So I, it could be, I don't know. It could be anything. Actually, that I don't know looks who familiar you to me. I don't know. We might have to find that out. Um, as my students would say, the math ain't math, and that's right, honey. Uh, the math be the struggle is hard. But listen, I started when I was two, so that means I'm 25, 26, 27. Yeah, I'm 27. <laughs> I think that's right. Anyway, I the point is, is that I was left like outside of rooms because um, because I could not show fail my f failure. But then when I was finally uh, given access to those rooms by a sponsor who sponsored for me and said, hey, this person is smart enough to be, they were all failing the whole time, right? And I feel like culturally, some of us have grown up in a way that we were not encouraged to fail. Failure was not an option. And so it's hard for us to get our minds wrapped around the fact that coding is failing. We wake up every morning knowing that we're gonna fail and that's exciting. So we want you to fail as often and as frequently as possible. Um, don't do it on purpose, you know what I'm saying? But don't be afraid of it either because you're not gonna know if something's gonna work unless you try it. And it's almost guaranteed it's not gonna work for you probably the first few times you do it. <laughs> you know what I'm saying? Like that's just the way it is. Because even now when I'm doing some logic stuff like we're about to do now, I'm like, okay, wait a minute, what am I evaluating for? Oh shit, I should have put this one before this one because you know, um, and my brain hasn't thought through the process which is why programming is important. Okay. Mm -hmm. All right. That's why thinking about it's important too. Yes. All right. So we got a couple more minutes. So let's finish this one out. So no, it doesn't have. We're gonna stop. So yes, if it's yes, then I'm gonna say that we probably because the cotton tail is unique to the bunny. I'm gonna say we got us a bunny over here. Okay. Holla if you hear me, y'all. Holla if you hear me. Holla if you think we 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 doing good. Are y'all? Well, not if we're doing good because you know we we might be actually doing really bad. But I want you to tell us that anyway. Um, but if you understand True. what we're doing right now, and you might be thinking, why are they doing this? Like, I thought we we're supposed to be coding. Like, this is not valuable to me. Let me tell you something. It is valuable to you. It, trust me, this is probably the most valuable thing you're going to see the entire time you're here. Mm -hmm. Oh, shit. And I forget forgot, about I forgot for the code wood. completely. Just imagine you're standing out a pile of toys. That's what we're doing. We're just standing out a pile of toys and we're pulling out a toy and we're just checking to see if it has one or the other thing. That's it. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. All right. So is it wood? We said wood is unique. Actually, let me put unique here. So yep. that we know. And we said cottontail is unique here, right? Okay. So if it's yes, then we know we got us. We got us a, a block. Boom. Now you might be like, damn girl, you got lines all over the damn place. And I do. I do. <laughs> but you know what? We gon' we I'm gonna clean this up a little bit. You know what I'm saying? I'm gonna I'm gonna clean it up a little bit because you know it don't have to be this ugly. Uh we we can make it sexy. Um but the point is is that we thought through our process, right? We know what's a toy and what's not. Oh, excuse yes. me, not a toy. We know what's a bunny, we know what's a what's a wood block or whatever, you know, we were trying to, to account for, right? Child, this is a hot mess, these little lines and shit. <laughs> but y'all see them, you see them, you see them, you see them. Just go to the no, just go to the no, right? So we start number one, grab a toy from the pile. Two, does it have stuffing? If the answer to that is no, okay, then we're gonna ask us another question Is it wood? If the answer to that is no, then we don't have us a bunny or a block. 
Okay. Forget about it. <laughs> Need more nose? Yes. Don't be talking about my shit. Don't be talking. <laughs> okay. <laughs> All right. Okay. So we know that, right? If it is wood, yes, then we know we got us a block. We go back and we say, "All right, grab a toy from the pile. Does it have stuffing? Yes. Does it have a cotton tail? No. If no, boom, stop. Because it's 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 neither a bunny or a block. But if it does, then we know it's a stuffed bunny. All right." Y'all feeling it? This is a good spot for us to stretch. Y'all know what to do? Let's go and get our stand up on. Stand up, stand up, stand up. Oh, and it's a good song too, up. honey. Yeah. Oh, gosh. Just the act of standing up feels remarkable. <laughs> All right, Tiana. So I don't know if you've seen us do this, do this before. Um, but I'll, y'all, I do the same ones every time. They my bread and butter. We're going to start off with our wrists because our wrists are so important. Carpal tunnel is real. So we're going to start off with our hand here. And then we're going to pull back just a little bit. Don't don't hurt yourself now. Um, disclaimer, if you hurt yourself, I hope you got insurance because I can't help you. All right, we're going to pull that back slightly. All right, we're going to shake that out. Hey, babe. A who? Play the what? What kind of food? I can't do it right now. My, my husband's trying to give me some food, y'all. Uh -uh, I'm going to do it in a little bit. Thank you, though. <laughs> All right, we doing the other hand. And we're going to shake that out. Ooh, yeah, I needed that one. Oh, damn, I haven't done this enough today. Okay, now we're going to put our hand facing down. And we're going to pull back slightly. Do not pull too hard on this one because you can, you know, mess up your wrist on this one. So just pull back slightly until you feel a little bit of a stretch there. We're going to shake that out. We're gonna do the other arm, the other wrist. You feel it, Ooh. bruh? Feels great. I'm gonna tell you what, honey. The physical therapy. I'm telling y'all. All right. Now the next thing we're gonna do is we're gonna stretch out our shoulder now. Okay. So we're gonna reach our arm across our body. Make sure that your shoulder is pushing away from your ear, and you're gonna grab above your elbow. I actually saw a stretch today. Uh, there's a LinkedIn person who, who works on like stretching and stuff and he did some stretching with like necks and stuff like that. I'm gonna try that one next time. Okay, now let's boost stretching. Tea. Child, you better go on with all that. Stretching is good, but <laughs> let me tell you something. If you're an engineer, you better get into the stretching game. Otherwise you ain't gonna be here for long. You finna mm -hmm. have back problems. You finna have, honey, you finna, your life is gonna be messed up. Let me tell you. It's so I important. my money. Mm-hmm. <laughs> she really realized that someone isn't old yet. All right, we're going <laughs> to shake that out. Now, next thing we're going to do is uh, we're going to rotate our hips. We're going to go side to side. Don't do it too hard because you don't want nothing popping and locking or nothing, but you do want to feel it in your hips because we sit on our asses all day. All right. Yeah. Oh, God, that feels so good. Oh. Yeah. All right, next thing, we're going to touch them toes or touch your shins or your thighs, whatever you can get down there to. We're going to hold it and we're going to come back up. We're going to go back down again, come back up, and then we're going to stretch our backs and we'll be done. All right, let's go on down. Touch them toes. Man, I could have stayed down there all damn night. Oh, that's so good. I hear that. Okay, one more time. Oh, thank you for subscribing with Prime. <laughs> all right we back up again all right now this is the last one and this is my favorite you put your hands like this in the small of your back you bend your knees slightly spread them out a little bit and then you're just gonna lean back Ooh, I felt something pop. That felt so good. All right, I'm coming back up. I'm going to do it one more time. <laughs> and that's it, y'all. It ain't, it ain't hard, but you got to do it. You got to do it. We sit down so much. You've decreased your lifespan. And I'm going to tell y'all, I make enough money to where I want to spend it all before I die. My kids already know. I love you very much. But um, hopefully you live long enough to make your own money. I'm going to leave them like 50 cents. But, um, <laughs> but outside of that, you know what I'm saying? I'm spending all my money. So, like, I want to live long enough to do that. Yes, hype train. All right, DMJ3. You see them? You like them new hype uh, emotes I put up in there? Mm-hmm. Mm -hmm. I'm learning. I'm learning a little bit. I'm learning a little bit. <laughs> 
girl don't laugh at me honey because i don't know what the hell i'm doing don't let don't <laughs> let no one you know I i'm just thinking we all learning something here today aren't we child, <laughs> we show sure is huh? too bad i'm learning every damn day like they like damn when you gonna learn when you gonna learn? <laughs> yeah i didn't put all kind of emotes in there y'all see that see sis was sis was like oh look at my lights back there hold on i need to stop that look like somebody gonna get a seizure <laughs> it's crazy because i have all these remotes so like when i when my remote when i change my fan it makes it do that it's so weird it's so weird oh. yeah they're all like oh, wow. yeah That's i have crazy. a bunch of new ones up in there honey i think i have one that that shakes too i'm not sure oh it's under i think twitch has to like approve it or something like that i think they think i stole it or something hell i don't know whatever wow. all right Okay, so let's finish this up real here. Oh, actually, we've already finished it up, right? Yeah. So now we just need to make this happen. Okay? Mm -hmm. Now, we're going to come back to this, but I want us to go to the free code camp um, things. Actually, hold on. We talked about the Boolean values being true and false, right? So if you look at this, you can say, does it have stuffing? Yes or no evaluates to false. True. Y'all see that? Ooh. I do. Something is mathing now. We're doing, yes. now we are doing math. Yes, we are. <laughs> uh huh. Y'all see? Okay. Dr. T, why is that important? Well, we're going we to see in just a few minutes why that's important. All You're right? getting the context now. The mm -hmm. context. Yep. So we You're got some truths and false. You, yep. you see my magic, baby. You see my magic. I wasn't born yesterday. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> see, there you go again. I had to turn see the fan on high. And I'm out, y'all. Somebody send some, uh, some, some love out here for me or something. I need an electrician or something, honey. I need somebody to come help me out. You're okay. doing great. So now we should understand what a boolean is, right? The true or the false. You said the light switch, right? And we've seen mm -hmm. it in action. We're just saying, hey, is something true or is it false? So when we come to this function here, we want to modify this function so it returns true instead of false, right? Now, one thing you'll notice about Booleans or Booleans is that they don't have quotation marks around them. If true or false has quotation marks around it, what data type is it? A string. Uh, Deanna, you're not supposed to be telling the. You're not supposed to oh, be telling the. You, you telling know, the, I, <laughs> gave, I did the pause. I did the dramatic pause. See, okay, so so here's the thing you learn as a as an instructor that I, that a lot of instru it takes them a while is that it's okay to have some silence. That's why we got the music. All you do is shake your ass a little bit. I don't know what kind of delay we're on. It's not that much of a delay, um, but but th when we say it, it actually takes maybe about five seconds for them to even hear it um, to come through. And I know sometimes that's awkward because I even watch the evening instructors. I'm like, oh, they didn't ask the question. Let's see how fast they gonna start answering when nobody say nothing. It'll be like. <laughs> Three seconds later, they're already, I'm like, hold on, you gotta give them at least 60 seconds. And yeah. I'm like, oh my gosh, okay. 60 seconds in silence? Are you kidding me? I'm like, no, I'm not. Because some of us process things more slowly and we want to answer, but we need to think about the question you just asked us, right? True, true. So we got I'm a few strings up in here. Mm-hmm. I'm the same way too, I ain't gonna lie. Cause sometimes I'd be like, damn, ain't nobody listening. Ain't nobody hearing. And then people be like, no, I was listening, Dr. T, you just gotta give me a hot second. So I be True. telling my students, hey, y'all better tell me to shut up. Hey, 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 I'm still thinking. I'm still thinking. Be quiet. Be quiet. They don't tell me to shut up because, you know, that's disrespectful. But so all we have to do here is say true. So let's see. Let's get a drum roll. You did it. You did it. You did it. You did it. Yeah. All right, y'all. Now, this is where all of this true false stuff comes into play, right? So it's, it's telling us to use conditional logic with if statements, okay? If statements are used to make decisions in code, the keyword if tells JavaScript to execute the code in the curly braces under certain conditions. So remember we talked about yesterday in our functions, every time you see a curly brace, that's a code block or a room, all right? We're gonna be talking about those rooms a little bit more today, okay? These conditions are known as Boolean conditions, and they may only be true or false, okay? Not that you have to have the value explicitly true or false, but that they will evaluate to either true or false, and we're gonna see that in just a second, okay? 
When the condition evaluates the true, the program execute the statement inside of the curly braces. When the Boolean condition evaluates to false, the statement inside the curly braces will not execute. Okay? So here's some pseudocode. If whatever's in these parentheses evaluates to true, then this statement is executed. Okay? And they have an example here, but I want us to take a look back at our thing. So if does it have stuffing evaluates to true, then what do we want it to do next? I put my pause game on, you see? Mm -hmm. I, I love it. <laughs> I love it. I absolutely love I it. You did great. Time. You're a quick learner. I like that. I like that. You know what I'm saying? I love it. Sometimes when it came to JavaScript, I was not, but mm -hmm. <laughs> so they were mm -hmm. like, we're learning. Ooh. So, okay, Chandler so and Art, we're else. not doing the else yet, right? We're just doing the if. Okay? okay. Yes, evaluate the next condition. And what is the next condition? Okay. Hmm. Does it have a cottontail? And y'all already right. know. See, some of this, some of this stuff in here, um, through the free code count, we're gonna go through it, but I really want us to to take the time because to me, this is the part of programming that's so very important, right? I think I think when you start dealing with functions and logic, this is where it starts to become um, critical. And so, to me, taking the time that's needed is is what's important. Okay, so let's actually code out this first one. All right, so we grab a toy from the pile, right, mm -hmm. and then we ask the first thing: Does it have stuffing? So. I'm going to do if, actually, the first thing we probably need to do is create a variable. Y'all remember how to do that? Mm. Equals. And we haven't done objects yet. Okay. Um, mm. We haven't done objects yet, but I think what we'll probably do, but we've done arrays. So FreeCodeCamp does arrays really weird. Um, do they? Yeah. Yeah, they do them really weird where it's like, they show it like, like if I wanted to do a toy, I can have an array of arrays instead of an array of oh. objects. Um, but I feel like that's almost harder to understand. Yeah. Maybe. Yeah. But I guess they know what an array is if they put an array inside of the, it's the same thing. Yeah. Yeah, I don't know. I don't know. It's it, it's weird. It's weird. But you know, here's what I'm here for do. it. I'm, I'm going to do an array though. I'm going to do an array and I'm going to just give it this. Actually, we'll say true, true. We'll do true, true, false, false. How about that? Um, for each one of these. So for stuffing, actually, I'm trying to think what would be the best, the best way to, to do this data. Not necessarily. I'm here for it. Mm -hmm. Think about this. Are we going to make two separate one, two separate variables, one for the bunny and then one for the blocks? Or are we doing one variable? Yes, yeah, so I think what we, because remember we have a, a pile of toys that are has a pile of bunnies and a pile of blocks and a pile of all these. You are so correct. Away, right? So yeah. I think what we probably need to do is we probably, I think we could just do something simply as add a, a uh, an object. And I'm, I'm trying to think about the key value pairs in here. Or if we just nope. list the attributes inside of it and do it dot includes, right? Yeah, I think that's great. Or also like, I don't, I guess they probably haven't done fine. This maybe just includes good. Yeah, cause I'm, I don't like doing um, arrays and arrays, but since we've done it before, I'm gonna go ahead and do it. Um, so I'm gonna say stuffing. So these are the things that it has, right? Stuffing, geometrical shape, and then cottontail. Okay. So I'm just gonna use this as as a list inside of here. Man, I'm telling you, boy, this playlist be bumping, bro. True. Or we I'm not here wondering. Honey paper is. How about toy Who's one? Ooh, How about that? Let's that's a good one idea. Two. Yeah, because I think, because then I hate doing arrays and arrays that it actually makes my skin crawl. Um, so I, I would prefer not to do that. Me too. You know, I'm not a big fan of arrays instead of arrays. I don't nah. think that's. And when I get an API that gives them to me, I'd be like, bro, let's not even do that. 
Okay. <laughs> all right, so then we're gonna do toy two. All right, and then I'm gonna keep that the same thing. All right, and then I'm gonna do toy three. And I'm gonna yep. say, uh, no stuffing. We're gonna say, uh, shaving. <laughs> yep. Um, and then we're not even gonna put, I'm just gonna take this attribute out completely. Um, we're gonna say, what, what? Oh, wheels. Let's say we're doing a car. Um, hood. Body. Oh, yes. Yeah, Body great. is That's a good great. one. Body is a good one. All right. So, see, we're just describing toys using arrays. All right. And then this fourth toy, we're going to give it these attributes here. at us doing it on the fly. You know what I'm saying? I told y'all we was going to be spending that black girl magic for y'all. I mm -hmm. told you that's how we were going to do it. Y'all y'all, y'all didn't come ready today. You thought, oh man, I wonder what they're going to do today. And you know what I'm saying? And now we, we showing you. You know what I'm saying? We showing you. We making it hot. All right? Mm -hmm. So y'all see we have three variables here and their values are arrays that have the attributes. Okay? So in total, we've got three, four toys. Y'all with me? Um, converted to a string. It's just uh, clicking on it and then doing the, the quotation marks. That's all. Yeah. That's 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 an editor secret. <laughs> I think you just yep. need to highlight the whole thing. Is the thing. Mm -hmm. Yep. That's it. Okay. So y'all see we got toys up in here, right? Y'all see we've got we've got four that we've explained here, right? So what we want to do is, is we want to say, if, I guess we could do one toy, right? We could do the first one. Yeah. Let's do, since they're all in the same order, right? We know that stuffing is, uh, is the first inside of anything that's a, that's a, a rabbit or whatever the bunny. We can say yeah. if toy one. And how, what, what, what index would I use in order to get the first item out of the array? Does anybody remember? Mm. Zero, zero, yes. If toy mm -hmm. one zero equals stuffing. Perfect. Right? Let's just do a console log. Yes. Okay. Oh, child, and put that exclamation point all outside. I'm trying, to be extra, <laughs> I'm trying to be super extra over here. All right. So now what we're going to do, we're going to run it. Uh-oh. I forget this console is. What's going on? If toy one, zero. Is it running? Hold on. Let me make sure this is. Replit was acting yeah. up on me earlier today. Let's see. I might be missing something. I'm this isn't a see? It's acting weird. I wonder. Replit, Replit it won't even open my console now. <laughs> I don't know oh, what's going no. on here. Okay. Maybe what? I need to save it. No. Come on, uh, Replit. Come through, bro. Don't do me like this. Today has been a te trial day for Bruh. technical errors. I'll tell you what. It was oh, working earlier. My goodness. Maybe it's still me. loading. Let me see if I create a new one, if it'll work. See, this one isn't even working. It should say Hello World on it. Man, what Ugh. is going on, bro? Replit is doing something over here, y'all. I don't know what is. Oh, yeah. See, look, it's still loading down here. You're right. It was. Yeah. Still so let's see. Just taking its time. Sometimes tech is like that, you know. Man, sometimes we be we be crashing and burning. Let's see if it'll do it over here in the Inspector Tools. Ooh. Oh, curious. Work with us. Um. <laughs> Have I tried turning off and on again? <laughs> That would be a good idea um, if I knew how. Oh, Something is definitely going on. I got some red <laughs> over here. I bet you. 
uh there's something going on with my network well y'all still hear me over here see yeah still this is pending oh you know what code sandbox does this too you know what let me kick you out of here or, okay or leave, yeah. leave, leave out of here because i think one time um or jump into another file or something it might think that you're editing it or something because sometimes one time it did that to Ooh. me too uh, okay i left nope. i left that ain't it i'm gonna try one more time it says connected if it doesn't work then i'm gonna go to code sandbox oh, excuse Let's me see. here i'm gonna come over here and i'm gonna use their editor ha 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 how about that it, okay. That does work, doesn't it? Mm-hmm. Yeah. Rep Replit is acting in a hot fool, hot mess. That's what it's doing. Yeah. Ain't nothing I can do about that. You know what I'm saying? I didn't build that tech. I'm trying to use it. But y'all see? <laughs> <laughs> it's asking if toy one, square back or zero, which is stuffing, equals stuffing the console, yes. Y'all see that? So it's running yep. that block of code. Okay. So this evaluates to true or false. Because this is either going to be true or false. This is what they're talking about when they're talking about that condition. So you're saying if this condition, whatever is in here, is either true or false, right? If it's true, then run the code block. If not, just get out of it. Okay? And I actually have that inside of inside of here as well um, with the condition operator, right? Uh, the conditional statement. So if the condition... We write the condition because we know what the condition is that we want to evaluate for, right? If it ends up being true, then it's going to run whatever is in the curly brace. Mm -hmm. Okay. Now, there was some other things on the earlier slides that I needed to get to some false values, but I think they'll probably get to those a little bit later, too. So we see here, if we say now, if we put a lowercase s here and we run it, it doesn't do anything. Why? Is this stuffing the same as this stuffing? It's not. No, it's not because the computer is dumb. You have to tell it exactly what it is. Case matters is very is case sensitive. Okay, so that's why this statement isn't running. So you see, it's not doing anything. So the code is saying, "Hey, I'm going to check to see if this is true. If it is, then I'm going to run this block of code. If not, then I'm going to stop. I'm just going to get the mm -hmm. hell up out of there. Or keep if there was more code, I'll just keep running, right? But I'm not even going to worry about that anymore." Okay. All right. Now I'm gonna hold on to this because I don't want them to lose this. Hold on, let me make sure I'm, I'm gonna keep this in the replit. <laughs> yes, it's already in there. Okay. Because I know if I try to leave this in here and run this test, it's gonna be like, uh-uh, you can't do that. It's gonna fail me. <laughs> it's gonna fail me. You know what it's I'm like, saying? What it's gonna this? fail me. All right. So that's what this is showing right here, right? So if this condition return, it was true. Otherwise, return it was false. Now here's the thing. When you see a return keyword. When you see return, it is going to get the hell up out of Dodge. As soon as it, if that condition is true and it returns whatever it is, now that function is over. Remember last night yep. we talked about return and why we needed to use the return keyword? Because that's what the value of the function is going to be. So in this if statement, if that condition is true, it's going to return. It was true. If it's false, then it's just going to keep running and then return this last statement here. It was false. Okay. So unless it's true, it's going to stop. Okay, now that's true because we're using return. You'll see some other ways that we'll probably look at this in a little bit as well. But that's how the conditional works. Okay, now there is, I think somebody earlier had mentioned else and all and all the other things there are. We're going to look at those as well. Um, but typically, you know, if you have several conditions you want to you want to manage for, then that's what you do. Okay. All right, so let's see. Create an if statement inside of the function to return yes, that was true. If the parameter was that true, it's true. And return no, that was false otherwise. All right, I think we can do this one. What you think? I agree. All right, so we're going to use that if. Mm-hmm. And they say okay. uses was it true. Okay. So, yes, the parameter is true. So it wants us to log okay. it or return it. It wants us to return it. Yep. Okay. And I'm going to copy this because I, it needs to be exact, honey. Free code camp don't be playing about them uh, about that case, honey. <laughs> I'm telling you, it will tell you it was wrong real quick. Okay. Yep. Otherwise, what word is that? <laughs> <laughs> it 
It was close. It, it was it, close. No, it wasn't. Stop lying. No, it wasn't. <laughs> <laughs> this is what like, I tell myself. You know, it's uh, how we keep ourselves afloat out here. Look, <laughs> okay. That was like five extra letters and they were all wrong. <laughs> Okay, All I right, won't y'all like think it. this I is like y'all it. think this is right? I don't know if it's right or not. Well, I or should I hmm. move this up here? Well, <gasps> what happened when I moved question. that up there? Hmm. When I moved that up there, look, this this went dim. Yeah, interesting. Hmm. I'm gonna keep it right well, there. I'm gonna keep it right there. That might work. I vote that that's the best place to be. You think so? But it's good to assess all of our options because you yeah. never know. Yeah. Yep. Once you return it, the function ends. That's right. So anything below a return statement, it don't matter. You just wrote code for nothing. Wonderful it don't matter. answer. Mm-hmm. Yep. I love it. All right. Let's get a timpani roll. Let's see what happens. Way to go. Thunder. 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 Thundercats. <laughs> oh. <laughs> That's my favorite one. DMJ three came through on that one, man. That's that's my favorite one, bro. I would do that every time if people didn't think I, I didn't think people were gonna think I was crazy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> but I am a little crazy. It's okay. It is a good one. It's, it's good. okay. Oh yeah, mm-hmm. it's okay. It sure is. Um, now we're gonna talk about some comparison operators. Um, I'm actually gonna go back to this to this to this over here so we can look at them a little bit more closely. We can see them all together. I love how Free Code Camp kind of walks you through it, but sometimes for me, it's, it's better for me to see them all together in one spot so that I can know what each one is doing and whether or not I want to use it, right? Um, for me, it's hard, to me, hard for me to retain something and then move on to the next thing when it's something new, if that makes sense, if I haven't seen it all in one time. So I'm a person who needs to see the agenda before I go to a meeting so I can be prepared yeah. for the meeting, even though I only got it five minutes before. <laughs> So that's just the type of person I am. So if that's you, then this is what we're doing right now. We're going to talk about some comparison operators. Tiana, you know what? I feel like I've been talking. You know what I'm saying? I'm going to get you the stage. You want to talk us through some (laughs) of these? It's up to you, though. Now, I'm not trying to put you on the spot or nothing. You know what I'm saying? But you, hey, you. you I'm following along. What are you talking about? I'm trying to make sure not to answer these questions for people because I get excited. You know, I'm like, (laughs) no, I'm I'm trying to be like a little student again. Mm -hmm. So then why don't you go ahead and be the teacher right now then? So then you don't have to answer them. Go ahead. Do it. Well, I'm going to touch on the notes thing, too. I think for everybody, it's actually a great option and great idea for you to start writing stuff like this down. You know, commands, shortcuts. You're just taking so much information. Just give yourself that leeway. You can reference this. It's great. It's a reference sheet. You can have that. You can have a cheat sheet as a developer. Hell yeah. Um, My cheat sheet is Google. (laughs) Me too. And And you all will learn. That's okay. It's okay. Oh, it's fine. Uh, okay, Dr. T, what are, what are we looking at operators? Okay, mm-hmm. I was going to ask you, you know, the difference, right? What's the difference between the triple equals, the double equals, right? They all mean something different, I guess. So mm-hmm. They do. Are you asking right. me or are you asking them? I, I guess well, everybody, you know. I What's feel the difference? Like, What's I feel the- like we did these already in Free Code Camp. That's the thing is that I feel like we already did it. Okay. Yeah, we, we'll recognize... Okay, we'll recognize a string as a... Oh, okay. So that... So you're talking about uh, coercion. And that is something that it does, but it actually does something different as well. So as you can see here, so if I'm putting this inside a grid hub, but if you got a screen and you're on your computer right now, go ahead and screenshot this because this one right here is the bread and butter or just Google it because it's it's there too. Mm -hmm. Um, But if you have a double equal, that means it's just looking at the value. It's not looking at the type. Remember, we have data types. We got numbers, strings, uh, really more number strings. Um, not necessarily. I think those are really the, the main things that we, because it has to be primitive, right? So remember, we talked about primitive data types, which are the simple ones like objects and arrays yes. and functions, excuse me, are not primitive. Um, but our primitive ones are, remind me, Tiana, strings, numbers. Integers. Booleans, yeah. undefined. And is it null? Mm-hmm. Is mm-hmm. Null is a separate one. And ooh. And so when you think about primitive, you think about simple. <laughs> That's what I just say. They simple. You know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. They simple. You know what I'm saying? I think. I think that's. 
There might, might be a be couple it. other ones. I think Big Int. Well, no, no, no. That's just a date, date. I don't know if that's a primitive one, though. I don't use it enough to know. Um, but I would just Does Google Nan it. Come back to you? N-A-N. <gasps> I don't know if that's a primitive one, but yeah, but it is um, a, it is something we can get right. Um, but yeah. if you do a double equals, it's just looking at the value. So that's where it could coerce, uh, coerce the uh, value, Chevalier and Art. If you are uh, looking at one, the number one, double equals string one, it will convert um, the one, right, to a number so that it can make the comparison um, on the value of it. However, if you use the triple equals, yeah, it's looking at it all. Yeah, strict. And that's everything what we about use. this. That's what we use. Don't be doing that double equal. You use that triple equal. Because um, some yeah. things can happen in your code, especially when you're starting out. Um, some things can happen in your code that are unexpected if you use the double equal unintentionally, right? Um, mm -hmm. So we stick to the triple because it looks at the value and the type. Yeah. Mm -hmm. I think this is the safest one to use in most cases. I think mm -hmm. that this is the most common one that I use for sure. Me too. And then I guess we got our, I, I always call it the bang, you know, mm -hmm. it's our bang, exclamation bang. point. Bang, bang, bang and equals. That's like saying, oh, it doesn't equal that. Bang, mm -hmm. nope. <laughs> it doesn't equal that. <laughs> and then the same thing with the d the double equals. It's not. It's the same as using the double equal uh, above, except you're saying it's not right. It's the opposite mm -hmm. of it being equal to something. Mm -hmm. And then you know you got your greater than and less than. You know you're using using that in some arithmetic most of the time, right? Mm -hmm. I'd, I'd say that I usually use that for arithmetic, mm -hmm. right? Um, and same with the greater than or equal to. I think if you've done any basic math, you know what those two those two mean as well, right? Mm -hmm. I think so. How y'all rocking? How she do? I think she did great. <laughs> Thank you. Thank you. Ooh. <laughs> We're doing a church clap. All right. Oh, I'm in it. I'm in it with you. <laughs> yes. So, okay. oh, yes. Thanks. And so this is a reference, right? And like you said earlier, you know what I'm saying? We don't we don't want to try to memorize mm -hmm. this. We just need to know, okay, if I'm if I'm comparing something and you know, and this is what I'm expecting, then what comparison operator should I use in order to 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 check whether or not something is gonna evaluate to true or false? Because the comparison operators will be true or false. Yep. It will be true or false. Either it's gonna be true or it's gonna be false, right? And that's why we use them in our conditionals and our condition statements or, um, yes, and our conditional um, statements is because we want to evaluate in that condition, hey, based on the value here, do we want this code block to run? Okay? Yeah. Yes, honey. Girl, you just killed that, honey. You just killed that. <laughs> you just killed that. Thank Hold on, let me you. give you something good. Thank let me get you. a Glock and no, Spiel. I think we all did good. Yeah, let me go and give you that one. Let me give you that one. Honey, you don't you don't know about my Glock and Spill store. I'm not going to go through <laughs> it. But just put it this way. I thought it was a Glock. That Long oh story short, 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 long. And honey, I pushed that junk in the middle of my hip hop stream. You know what I'm saying? I was going hard, bro. I, I didn't know what to do with myself. I felt uh -uh. like a, I, I, was, I actually was going to finish the stream. I, I sat there for like two minutes like, should I stop streaming? Because I feel like a total idiot. Okay. It's okay. So this we one is going to take learn. us through. Yeah, this one's going to take us through the double equals. Right. So we know okay. that it's going to look at um, the types. It's just going to look at the values. Right. So see here, this example one double equal one. This is true. And then this string three double equals three is true. We might not want that to be the case. Right. So that's why we want to use the triple equals for that one. OK, so let's let's see if we can let's see if we can run this test right here and get through this one. It says add the equality operator to the indicated line. So that the function will return the string equal when val is equivalent to 12. So if val, and see I was about to do the triples right there. Equal 12, return equal. It's a good habit. <laughs> yes, I'm just not. All right, somebody roll. Kawabunga, oh, I need the Ooh. Teenage Mutant Ninja Turtles, DMJ3, if you still up in here, I'm gonna need that, I'm gonna need that. I'm gonna need that, I don't know what they be doing. Uh, but honey, I used to wear that show out. 
Hey, as always, free code camp makes things available to us so we can learn how to code. You know what I'm saying? If you feel like giving them some love, go and show them some love. You know, I try to make my donation once a year, but you do you. You know what I'm saying? While you learning, when you start making that engineering money, just make sure y'all come back and show love to the things that, that showed you love too. All right. Comparison with the strict equality operator. <laughs> Girl, I'm telling you, my mouth is like, girl, if you don't shut the hell up somewhere, my mouth is like, girl, what you over here doing? So this one, man, we're, we're just we're talking about We're combining words one. today. Mm-hmm. We are, and that's okay. You know what I'm saying? Because yep. we're fabulous. we fabulous. Yes. So strict equality, value, and type. Okay? Yep. So this three, triple equal three is going to be true, but this three, triple equal string three is going to be false because this is There's a different, different type. Mm-hmm. Okay? Yep. A different type. So in the second, oh, it already said that. All right, so let's let's try to get this one. Use the strict equality operator. Operate, I keep saying operator. What's going on? <laughs> in the if statement, so the function will return the string equal when val is strictly equal to seven. All right, so let's do triple and seven. I think that one's looking good. Yeah, I think so too. Okay, so let's see. Let's get a drum roll, please. Face melting guitar solo. Oh, um, that's new. Yeah, I don't, <laughs> somebody Google that one and tell me where it's coming from, or if you know where it comes from, t- please tell us because I don't know what that one is. So we have. I Googlers do love that the strings started going as soon as this came up, though. The soundtrack turned to some strings. It was ah. coincidental, but. <laughs> See, baby, look. It it, works. That's all all in the production quality right there. That's all in the production quality. You know what I'm saying? Don't be telling nobody my secrets. I don't know what the hell going on. (laughs) But I told you epidemic sound be epidemic, baby. On epidemic proportions. Yes. (laughs) Okay. So what we doing up in here? See, practice comparing different values. Okay. 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 So it says, yeah. Um. Mm -hmm. in the last two challenges we learned about the quality operator and the strict equality operator we sure did okay um so let's do a quick review and practice using these operators some more all right if the values being compared are not of the same type the equality operator will perform a type conversion and then evaluate the values however the strict equality operator compare both the data type and value as is without converting one type to another okay we already talked about that so that's kind of a review um this is cool in javascript you can use the type of operator um to see what type so if i actually do um console.log type of and then i think three it's gonna give me a number you see that because three is a number if i put strings uh excuse me quotations around it it's gonna make it a string right if i do this oh this is uh, I probably shouldn't do this, but if I do this, it's going to give me an object. Don't even ask. Don't even ask. But the point is, is that type of will tell you what type of value it is, right? And so if you're ever questioning or you want to evaluate, make sure that the, that the value that you're getting back before you do the comparison um, is the, the value you want, whether it's a string or a number, then you can use type of um, because it returns. If I do type of three equals number. Oh, shit. True. See, so this is a comparison as well, because again, I'm using a comparison operator. Y'all see that? Yeah. So if you want to know awesome. what type it is, mm-hmm, you can use a type of um, operator as well. All right. So this says the compare equality function, this function here, um, and the editor compares two values using the equality operator. Okay. Not the strict one, but just the equality one. Modify the function yep. so that it returns the string equal only when the values are strictly equal. Um, it just want me to do mm. this. Is it? That's it. No. I think that's it. No. That's strict. So. That's that strict. No, that can't be it. Why why we had this whole reading? We just read like three chapters of stuff and that's all I had to do? No. If y'all think I'm supposed <laughs> to do something else, y'all better show me some love because I, I think I missed something. I think we missed something. Y'all done went quiet on me there for a second. Mm. I think I think we missing something. Do we need to do some jumping jacks? Mm. I don't know. It says if A is strictly equals B, we want to return equal. Okay. Is the string of equal when the values are? I don't know. 
it, well and it does say change this line it doesn't say it that does so i'm going to assume that that's probably oh chevalier and r says use two use double equal well it was double equals okay. before it gave it to me as a double equal hold on let me yeah. read this again the compare equality function in the editor compares two values using the equality operator. Okay, so that's what we had at first. Let me go back to what it was. It was like mm -hmm. this. That's the equality operator. Modify the function so that it returns the string equal only when the values are strictly equal. Ooh, so strictly. Think, yeah, I think strictly I think is the key word, word there. Word. Yep. All right, we're going we gonna to try it. You might be right, but let's, let's try it and let's see. You're unstoppable. We are unstoppable. Yes, we are. That would be true. That would I be agree. True. That would be true. All right. Com comparison with the inequality operator, the bang. The bang equal. Ooh. Okay. So this one again is uh, not strict. Right. So if you use bang equal, it's going to say one bang equal to. Well, that's true because they're not equal to each other. So when you see the bang, just think not. Okay. That's what that means. Not. All right. Bang not equal to one. False. Why? Because we're not using the strict. There's not an extra equal sign there, right? So it's looking at the value. Yep. The same thing for this one, right? Same thing for this one. This one is one not equal to true. Well, of course that's false. Oh, oh shit. Okay, this is where, all right. I was gonna ask. Yes, all right, so that's, <laughs> where, that's where my slide comes in, okay? Mm -hmm. So one is not equal to true, it's false. Zero is not equal to false. It's false. In JavaScript, we have something called falsy values. Take a screenshot. These are the only falsy values you will run into. An empty mm. string, zero, false, null, undefined, and not a number. Okay? They are called falsy because they're not actually false except for false, right? Like actual F-A-L-S-E. But because they are falsy, they will always evaluate to false. Everything else outside of this is truthy. Okay? Did y'all feel that? Or do you need me to do you need us to hit that one again? Because this is important. This 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 is why this is false and this is false. Yeah. Sometimes it's easy to forget these things. I'm glad you elaborated on that, actually. See, that's why I got that in my slide deck. I'm going to tell you. Because that's the first thing that happens. Somebody accidentally puts, they don't use the triple equal. And, and they're like, wait a minute, but why is this true? Like, why is this coming through true? Or why is it coming through false? And I'm expecting true. It's like, ah, because that's falsy. Mm -hmm. Or that's yep. truthy. So truthy is kind of like, it's kind of the truth. And false is like, it's kind of a lie <laughs> but it's not <laughs> you know what i'm saying like i didn't tell you the whole story kind of thing right yep so that's what's going on here so these one two three four five six values always evaluate to false so that's why mm -hmm. zero not equal to false is false because it actually is because zero is falsy okay i think it talks about that oh i don't even talk about that here interesting it just gives it to you wow that could be that's I a lot i remember talking okay. about truth or your false that's why we're before. here yeah but i don't remember talking about truth or your falsity before i don't think i skipped anything either okay free mm -hmm. co camp I, I ain't mad at you but um did i miss something <laughs> maybe okay. they added something okay look i'm not i'm not even gonna go there because we already did it we already shown it on there right um, yep. So what it wants us to do is add the inequality operator in the if statement so that the function will return the string not equal when val is not equivalent to 99. Okay, so 99, not equal, 99. Or bang equal, Okay. not equal. Yeah. We're going to try it. We're going to see. <laughs> Spool up the FT. Somebody told me what this was from, and I can't remember. Was this from the Robinsons? I don't know what this is from either. Wait a minute. What was the name of that show? You you um you know the in outer space, the people who got lost in outer space, the whole family? Any science fiction? Oh, any science. Okay, cool. Any I've never <laughs> seen that. I don't 
Battlestar Galactica. Yes! Uh, yes! That's what it was. That's what it was. That's what it was. See, I've seen this one a couple times, and every time I'm like, what the hell was that from? <laughs> I don't know. I've been I have meaning no to watch this show. I have not seen this before. Child, that's old school right there. That's old school right there. Yeah, I think they made a movie it about good. it a few years ago. Well, maybe, maybe not a few years, but they made one. They made one. <laughs> A little while ago, a little, a little bit ago. ago. Cause, honey, look, ten years ago to me, my baby, one of my babies was like two, and they're like, ten years ago is a long time. I'm like, baby, ten years ago was like yesterday. Hush, mm-hmm. hush now, hush now. <laughs> All right, y'all. So now we're doing comparison with the strict inequality operator. Okay, um, mm-hmm. and this one is going to be looking at uh, the type and the value. Okay. We talked about that one already. So you'll see three not strictly equal to three. Mm, That's false because they are equal, right? Mm -hmm. Three is not strictly equal to string three. That's true because the data type is a string. And then four not being equal to three is true because the values are different, okay? So here it says, add the strict inequality operator to the if statement. So the function will return a string not equal when val is not strictly equal to 17. Okay. Okay. These are kind of simple. Mm-hmm. I think that's, I think that's we what we're doing right now. That's it. Child, I think I think we got us a, a, a winner, a wiener. I think we got <laughs> us a wiener. Let's drum roll it. Damn, I always miss it. I always miss it. I'm always like either too slow or way ahead of it. The Kool-Aid man says, oh, yeah. yeah. Oh, yeah. yeah. (laughs) Do you know the Kool-Aid man, Tiana? Do you remember those commercials with the Kool-Aid man running through the door? I do. He would be running through the door, and it's just his big old, like, pitcher belly running through the door, and he's full of Kool-Aid. I just, mm, I love those commercials. Child, we did too, honey, but I had never had Kool-Aid. You know, Kool-Aid was the name brand. You know what I'm saying? Oh, we call yeah, everything Kool-Aid, yeah, yeah. but Kool-Aid was a name brand, honey. We had the, uh, the uh, oh my gosh, what was the name of it? it? began with a W. Oh, now I ain't even gonna remember it. I ain't even gonna remember I it. I don't either. We didn't have the name brand either, but you call it, you just be calling it Kool-Aid. Mm-hmm. That's just what it is. It's, it's still Kool-Aid. That, it's the it same tastes thing. exactly the same. <laughs> it tastes exactly the same. Yep. You know what I'm saying? It's got the same amount of sugar in it, surely. <laughs> oh my gosh, honey. <laughs> Especially if you add the sugar, you know what I'm saying? Well, if you add the sugar, it might actually be a little crazy, you know? Yep. All mm-hmm. right, y'all. This one is the greater than. Ooh, we got two lines to change in here. Okay, mm-hmm. okay. Ooh, two lines? Okay, they're getting a little special over here, honey. Okay. The greater than to operator. Test us, but I don't think they're going to take us down. Mm-hmm. Which eats the number on the left. Greater than. Y'all remember that from school? Greater than eats the number on the left. Let's see. Maybe not. Okay. Ooh, I'm, I'm married to a, a, a middle way. school uh math teacher so you know i'm still in kid mode <laughs> i think about kids all the time i just love kids <laughs> so the greater than operator compares the two value value of two numbers right this is math right we hopefully you know what the greater than and less than does um if you forget whatever side is wide is should be the bigger number the bigger number should be on that side so if it's not then it's false so for instance here the five out of three five is the bigger number so the, the mouth is eating up the bigger number, so that's true. Here, because we just have greater than, oh gosh, seven is greater than three, that's true. Because of coercion, yep. right? It's coercing the, the data or the, the type, right, to evaluate it. Two is greater than three, well that's false because the bigger number is not on the big mouth side. And that's one true. is greater than nine, well that's false, okay? This is super confusing, I know. Um, And there is no, if we go look at our operators, we have greater than, less than, or greater than, equal to with the greater than, equal sign. Um, But we don't have like a strict, I I don't think, is there a strict operator for greater than? I don't think there is. I don't don't know that I've ever used. um, I don't think so. Double equals. Yeah, so it's either greater than, equal to. So when you're thinking about using strings versus numbers, I will keep that in mind. Right? Um, wow. Whenever you're doing it, just based on this example here. Oh, yeah, so maybe this is confusing. Here. Yeah, so maybe this type is... of here or something um, mm. to make sure that, you know, you're actually using a number, getting a number or converting it to a number or something. Because, um, you know, our students deal with this a lot too whenever they get inputs. 
like when they're mm -hmm. taking data from a form and the data, even though they put the number input type on there, they're still getting it back as a string. And so they're trying to figure out why won't this work? And it's like, oh, because it's a string, you have to convert it. Yep. So um, I know that has nothing to do with what we're doing right here, but I'm just saying that because you will deal, you'd be like, well, why, if I if it's not a string, then why would I make it a string? There are times when you'll be dealing with numbers that technically yeah. is a number, but it gives it to you as a string. Um, Basically, so, if it don't make a lot of sense now, you'll see it again and it will make mm -hmm. some more sense for the yeah. number. And I think that's why they're bringing this up here. So you'd be like, why would I do that? You know, well, yeah, it happens, baby. It happens. Don't get caught up in it. We'll come back to it, you know. Yes. Yes, indeed. So just know if you're using greater than, less than, damn it, it don't matter if a string or number is going gonna, is gonna to coerce it. It's going to convert <laughs> it. Okay. All right. So add the greater than operator to the indicated line so that the return. Oh, this song is hitting too. Uh, so that the return statement makes sense. Wait, what return statement makes sense? What the hell are they talking about? Oh, we supposed to determine that. Okay. We do, all right. Now they're actually giving us some control. Okay. So it's going to change this line. So if Val return over 100. So that would be greater okay. than, right? If the value is greater than 100, I think. Yeah, I think so. Yeah. Okay. If right, so Val. 100. Okay. Perfect. And then this one is 10. So you might be saying, well, wait a minute. If it's greater than 100, then it's also greater than 10. That's interesting. Ooh, Ooh. but what's the key thing here? Order matters here. If it's greater than 100, will it ever run this line of code? Would it ever run that code block? Why not? Because return, what does it do? Return, baby. That return keyword, right? Mm. So really what you're doing True. is you're putting an order of precedence, right? Priority, right? If you know, hey, if it's over 100, I just want to get the hell up out of there. You know what I'm saying? And, and mm -hmm. not evaluate anything else, then we're just going to put that one first. Because if I put this one below the 10 right then it's gonna see if it's over 10 which might be true might not be true who knows right so that's the order okay so this yep. says over 10 so i'm gonna say greater than 10 and if it's not then it's gonna return 10 or under Ooh. okay so greater than. okay i was about to say yes i think that looks great i think it looks good too let's go ahead and get this number. let's see if i get on time oh man i do i be struggling <laughs> I be struggling, dude. I gotta step up my my uh my game on this damn uh what this thing called this mouse. I gotta step I up the mouse game. That. You rock <gasps> and you roll. You roll. Sorry, a song a song just come into my from. head. I'm assuming that no, this. There's a um, song. Oh, you rock. I think there's a song. But it, I will come back to you another time. We won't get into that. <laughs> okay, look, I'm you like, what song you is on? Oh, look, I'm like, you rock. You better fight for your right. No, that's fighting for your right. That ain't rocking. Okay. <laughs> All right, y'all. Now, this one is the greater than or equal to operator. Okay. And basically, you're saying, hey, if this number is greater than or if it's equal to this number, then return true okay so for instance you see the seven and the three again right this is true because the larger number is on the left hand side in this case however the two is on the side of the big mouth so that's going to be false because the larger number is here it's not equal to or greater than the same is true here okay so let's mm -hmm. see if we can take let's see if we can take some of that information and put it on over here so return 20 or over okay 20 or over. So we're going to do greater than ooh, equal and equal. 20. Ooh, yeah. Okay. Look, that that's sexy. Good. That's sexy. I think okay. so. Okay, and this one return 10 or over. Girl, you hot over there? It's making you hot. <laughs> it's making I, you li hot. I like a little equal sign after the greater than ooh, symbol, you know. Oh, it's making you hot. Uh oh, I think Oof. I may have forgotten something. I forgot the equal sign. Mm, 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 mm. There we go. Mm, mm, it was cooling mm. down for a second. <laughs> Honey, we was doing something. It wasn't going to be right. I'll tell you that. All right, y'all. Mm. Let's get this timpani roll. Let's see if I can get it on time this time. Pass with flying colors. We, we crushing these. I told y'all these were going to go fast because these little these little exercises are just making sure that you understand what these operators are 
Um, but we went over them, I feel like, very succinctly. So I don't feel like there's any need, you know what I'm saying, to to go. If you feel like you want to go deeper, though, y'all better drop it in the chat. You know what I'm saying? Because yeah. uh, closed mouth don't get fed. That's all I'm saying. I'm just going to keep it 100 with you. Now, this is the Deep left hand, so it's on the other piece. side. But it's still the same, y'all. The biggest number got to be where the big mouth at. That's that's it. If the biggest same number same. ain't where the big mouth at, then it's going to be false. Oh, no, 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 on this one. Yes. It's got to be there, right? The big number got to be there, so that means this is less than. Right? Mm -hmm. If the big number is on the other side, like this one, the three and the two, then it's false. Right? Big number, big mouth. Boom shakalaka. All right? So we have to say if Val is less than 25, right? Yes. Yes. Because we're looking to see if it's under. Yes. Okay. Under 25. Yep. Ooh. Yes. Okay. Yes, 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 yes. Okay. So this one is under 55. Yep. See this wow. this right here. See if they pass my age through here, it would be th this first one would run. I, mm -hmm. you did tell us your age, and I think that the first one it would stop. It wouldn't even check yeah, that's the right. second one. It would return. Second it would be like matter. under twenty five. Like this condition was met. It yeah. needs to say under twenty five and sexy. You know what I'm saying? <laughs> those two those two things are the truth. All right, let's go ahead. Let's let's get this temperature roll. Let's see what's going on. Target Ooh. acquired. Is that Mission Impossible? I doubt it. That seems like Call of Duty. I don't know why. Call of Duty? Like, like capture duty. the flag kind of stuff. Oh, know? okay. Okay, I'll just play it. I know what Call of Duty <laughs> <laughs> I pick on my son all the time. He'll be up in there doing stuff, and he, he plays because he's a video game like junkie. He's got like mm -hmm. all the consoles and everything. And I walk in there, I'll be like, what's up, man? He's like, hi, mom. I'm good. I'm like, are you playing Call of Duty? <laughs> <laughs> and he looks at me like this you know you've said that one before I'm like baby I said oh it my day like that's my jam <laughs> look, at my, look at my lights again they're going crazy he sees right through you he did he, he did sure see does. right through you but he's, but he's so graceful about it you know what I'm saying like he's just so good mm -hmm. about it he's like he plays into the whole thing you know gives me a good mm -hmm. laugh you know that's cute you gotta, you gotta do that sometimes keep you on your toes a little bit Mm, a little bit. A little bit. <laughs> <laughs> All right. Now we're going to do the less than or equal to, which is very similar to the greater than equal to, right? The only difference is, again, big numbers got to be where the big mouth is um, or equal to the value that's on the left hand side. If that's true, yep. then we're rocking and rolling. All right. So let's just go on and hit it because I, I feel like, you know, I feel like we're rocking with this. Smaller than too. or equal to 12. So I'm going to say smaller than, equal to. Ooh, child, oh, that's all I was going to put there was that. Less <laughs> than, equal to side. <laughs> Ooh, honey. No number. Mm -mm. Okay. Smaller than or equal to 24. Mm-hmm. All right. Okay. Let's, let's get a timpani roll. I think we got this one. pa Off the charts. I Baby. knew we were going to get it. Yep. Yes. Oh, honey, they nest. Okay, I was about to say, why are they nesting? See, that's something that I was gonna do on this other one. If my, if my thing. Oh, look, it's working now. <gasps> oh, okay. Hold on, hold on, Whoa. hold on, hold on. Let's see, let's see. Damn. Maybe not. It probably just had enough time to figure its, its shit out. Damn, yo. <laughs> Dude, I can't believe it took it that long to run that. Yes. I know. That's, that's actually kind of scary. And just Man, to open the. Man, I'm just, I'm so heartbroken right now because I wanted us to do some nesting and some stuff with some toys and stuff like that to make this thing uh, a reality. I guess we'll just have to do it next time on Saturday. Yeah. Um, hopefully it'll be working at that point. Um, but as you can see, like if we have these if statements, so we're saying if num is greater than five and if num is less than 10 then return yes that's kind of what we have here right does it have stuffing true if it has a cotton tail true then we know it's a stuffed bunny right so yeah. yes you can technically nest like this right uh oh what's going on over there honey you got some damage i'm sorry uh oh, oh is that Ooh, let me turn it off i'm sorry oh, no 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 you're that. fine you're fine honey i'll be shoot when I, whenever i see a, uh whenever i hear alarm honey i'll be like what's going on over there <laughs> You know what I'm saying? I'm like, honey. Mm. 
I live in Seattle, so you know, just the Ooh, it, you live everywhere. By Grey's there's Anatomy. a siren. Is that where Grey's Anatomy at, honey? I I do. The the hospitals out here is easy to see okay. from many different places. Yeah. Mm-hmm. Really? They actually film out there? They did. Yeah. The the Grey's Anatomy. Oh, that, yeah. It's, there's a the Grey's Anatomy it, hospital is a thing. It's out here. You can go really? visit it. Oh, honey, I'm finna come. I'm finna come out here. I'm finna go, you know, get to get sent to the ER. And the, now I'll tell you what, like the, the hospital, it looks suspiciously like haunted when you look at it out here. Oh, but in the show, you're like, oh, this looks like a vibe, you know. But in out here, it's just like some brown, kind of <laughs> scary big building. Like I'm coming visit you now, crazy. baby. Make hey, make a pallet for me. I'm I'm coming because I, I got to see that hospital. I got to see that one. I'll send I got to see it. Oh, no, 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 I want to see the person. You know what I'm saying? I got to walk the halls, baby. Maybe they'll give me a roll. Okay, so we can nest them like this, right? Or we can use logical operators. And there are three of them. And double ampersand, double ampersand, double, I mean, double ampersand is the and. Yeah. So that's saying this condition and this condition or either true or false, whatever you want to do, right? And there's also the R, the R, the OR, which are the double pipes. And they're usually students are like, where, where are those pipes? They're right above your return key if you use your shift, uh, yeah, your shift key. There's the pipes there. So that means OR, and then of yep. course the knot, the bang, okay? So let's take a look at what they have here. So basically this if, this nested if is saying if num is greater than five and num is less than 10. So you can actually do this in one condition inside of the condition, uh, the one if statement. You can say if Ooh. num is greater than five and num is less than 10, then return yes. Otherwise return no. Y'all feeling me on that? So I know this probably ain't gonna run but I could do that here. So like I can say if toy one zero, whatever this is, and then I could do this if here. And I feel like in here we did cottontail. Mm-hmm. Right. So cottontail is actually the last thing. So zero, one, two, three. So I'm gonna change this to three. Oh, look, it worked. It Ooh. actually ran. Look at that. Okay. Oh, shit. All right. So we'll see. Well, it ran that one time and it said, you know what? We're not gonna we're not gonna keep Oh, there it goes. Look, it's running. Look. So it console logged yes, and then it also console logged cottontail. Okay. Because it, it ran this nested function. I mean, excuse me, this nested condition. Now both of those things we're trying to, to get the affirmative on those. So I can actually just put these together and say if this yeah. Mm-hmm. And this. Then code block. Run what's in the code block. I want you to console log this a bunny. This a bunny. <laughs> this a bunny, baby. This a bunny. Yes. This a bunny. Oh. Okay, let's see what she's gonna do. Yes, there's a bunny oh. ran. Because we no, did the like evaluation, that. right? Yeah, so we said, mm-hmm. it doesn't have stuffing true. Does it have cotton tail? If it's true, then we know this is a bunny. Y'all see that logic? That logic flow? I know y'all hear it. I know y'all see it, right? Yeah, but, nice. it's nice and condensed. Yes, but now we could take this a step further though. We could say, all right, so that's true, right? But if we say, if toy, is not equal to stuffing, right? Because that's the next thing, right? Because we say no, then we say, is it wood, right? All right, so let's come over here and say, all right, is it wood? Oh, shit, where did my thing go? Wood is over here, wood would be the first thing. So, right, it's say, all right. Um, No, no, no. We would say, hmm, wait a minute. No, because if this is false, right? Oh, 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 yeah. oh, oh, I know, 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 I know. Give it to me. What are we I know. checking? What are we going to do? I know. Do? We're going to say if it's not equal to stuffing, right? Because if it's not equal to stuffing, then we know it's not a bunny, right? Mm-hmm. And yep. then if toy, uh, what is that? Where's the 
Shit. We're going to do four. All right. Because we know this one's the thing. If type four is not equal to wood. Okay. Right? Wait. You see do we need saying? to change what we trying to do? the toy type or the, the uh, uh, index in the array? Oh, yes. You are right. You are right. Right here. Four. Right? And then we are we checking toy four or are we checking toy yeah, one still? Let's, well, you know what? I think we could do four. Because we're going to check okay. to see if this is a block. Okay. This is a block. But in order to do that, we need to we need to look at something on the in the four spot, which is can cause harm. <laughs> but I don't think that's the <laughs> unique thing. The unique thing is the wood, right? It is the wood. Is it so wood? We might check is the that. question. Yeah. So let's say um, wood. Okay, so if it's not equal to stuffing and it's equal to wood, which is kind of weird, but that's kind of the way we wrote our logic here, right? Yep. Then we're going to run this as a block. That's what it say. Sure. I don't know if that's going to run. We'll see. This is a block. You see that? Awesome. We could also check and see if the beginning starts with something else it's just anything right mm -hmm. we can check for really anything the main thing is the unique wood piece right we want to double mm -hmm. at least check that it has wood to ensure that yeah. it's black yeah so i mean really if we wanted to yeah like you said we could just start here for the wood one right if we wanted to because actually if we were writing a function that's probably what we would do right so we would do function sort toys yeah and we did functions yesterday right so we would say, hey, if it's stuffing or whatever, this is a bunny, right? If this isn't true, then it's going to go to the next thing, right? Yep. Um, which we know, so this is a double ampersand, right? So we're saying if it's stuffing and cottontail, then we know it's a bunny, right? Um, if it comes down to this and it's wood, what else do we, what else in here? Because we say wood, true, we know it's we know it's a block. Block. Right? This is a block. Yeah. So I'm actually gonna change this back to one. And it's gonna, Ooh, this, I this gonna do. Uh oh. What I do. Oh, I did I did a oh. array I did an array method instead of doing I did use the function. <laughs> I use the function keyword instead of the arrow function. I try to some, mix too much together. Do that though. Some of the free, free code camp or maybe not free code camp, but some of them do use the function. Yeah, and it, 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 it yesterday we worked through, um, we worked through a bunch of different ones, uh, ways. Mm -hmm. I showed them all the way different ways that you could do it, and I think they do it like you could do the ES six. Um, set of uh, options that they show on there as well but yeah so you see here see it only console logs this a bunny because we're looking at toy one right and it's this isn't wood so this is where your logic really really starts to take place right um if yeah. we actually put some numbers in here right we could do um like this one only has three in it this one only has four in it so what we could even say in here is, is hey we know that uh wood uh we know that uh, the the block and the bunny have a link, have four attributes, right? Mm -hmm. So we could say if toy, uh, what is that one? Toy three? Yep. Toy three dot link, remember we did um, link is not, or is less than, whoops, four. Then we can say console.log not a bunny or not. block. Yes. Right? Now, this is a function, so we could pass in the toy or whatever we wanted to do, right? 
um, in order to make this a little bit more, have a little bit more logic, but that's where the, the stuff is going to start coming together. I think a little bit more is where we're putting mm -hmm. logic and the functions together so that we can actually pass it um, arguments that we've defined it as parameters when we created the function, right? So, yeah. I mean, ultimately, I think that's where, you know, I think that's ultimately where we're headed. I don't know how far we actually got up in here. I know we did a lot of them damn comparison things. I know that for us for a hot second. Oh, look, yeah, we, yeah, did. we were really close. So introducing else if statements, else if else statements, chaining if else statements. Okay. Yeah. So we'll, we'll work on that on Saturday um, and get a little bit more into logic. But, you know, this is one of those things where it's. Free code camp breaks it down and it is really, like I said, it seems monotonous, but you need to know this because this is the core. This is critical to yes. programming, right? Um, it's critical to programming and it's also critical to the code that you write. Tiana, it In is that four. I have kept you four minutes over. I apologize for that. Uh, I'm not, I'm here for it. I'm honey, so I'm here having for a good it. time, honey. I'm having a good I'm time. Okay. Yeah, I'm so happy to be here. I love this. You know what? It's been and great. And you out in the I, zone where it's like it's still daylight out there. You know what I'm saying? Yeah, it's, it's over here where I'm at. It's only six p.m. for me. You know, I got I got some daylight left. I could go on a stroll. Why, why are you <laughs> not trying to, to rub brag? In? Why are you trying to rub this? I'm in? not I'm trying like... to brag. I'm sorry. I realize that. <laughs> <laughs> Uh, how dare I? I'm going to take it back. I revoked my statement. <laughs> but no, repetition. You're so right. Repetition is key. You're going to see so much of that NSS in here. I'm sure so much more of it. Repetition is key to it all. That's the mm -hmm. difference. I've just done this maybe a few more times than you. Mm -hmm. You're going to catch up. Now, when we get Not to... Not you, but you know. Oh, no, no, no. I know general you. Right. Um, yeah. So to, on Saturday... Today's Tuesday, right? Yeah, on Saturday, we're going to do... I think there's a little bit more... Um, um, there's a, a couple projects and stuff in here um, and there's some switch. So usually I don't do switch statements with beginners just because they operate differently. So I'm not sure if we're, how deeply we'll go into this. It, it'll depend on who's on the stream and what y'all want to talk about. Um, because after we get done with the logic, if I'm not mistaken, actually, let me see. Hold on. Hold on. Y'all can't see all my shit. Mm -hmm. Let me pull it over here. Cause I don't want y'all seeing all my private. My private stuff, you know what I'm saying? <laughs> y'all can't be seeing mm -hmm. all of that, then y'all gonna be like, oh, lad, we gonna we gonna hack you, Doctor T. No, nah, you ain't. No, nah, you ain't. No, nah, you ain't. This would be the place too. Sure would. <laughs> uh, all right. So what we're gonna do after that is um, working with objects, which I think is critical, right? Um, I'm surprised that they didn't happen before uh, when we we're talking about, it, but it's it's critical. And then we're gonna do yeah. iteration. So we talked about loops in this functions loops and, and a project that we did just ad hoc when I was at render ATL. But these two right here are gonna get us to the point in which we're like, okay, we can actually like start thinking about the DOM and start putting things on the web browser. Because up until this point, we've just been using our console here. What we wanna start doing is putting stuff in here so users can interact with it, right? So after we get through these, these things here, um, and then we look at the debugging. We're gonna start building an app, y'all. So we're right there. We've got three more sessions before we start app building. Can I get a hand clap? Y'all, we gonna build. We're gonna use Bootstrap. We're gonna learn about the Ooh. DOM. We're gonna learn about HTML and CSS. We're gonna use event listeners. We're gonna learn about utility functions. We're gonna learn about bubbling, event bubbling on the DOM. Then we're gonna learn a little bit about GitHub and we're gonna deploy those apps. You understand what I'm saying? Bruh, it's gonna get lit up in this mofo. And hopefully Repl will work. Yes, honey, bootstrapper. Ooh, it's called a bootstrapper. Let me, let me find out. Yes, <laughs> merge and uh not until they've been uh code reviewed. <laughs> Chevrolet, right? Like merge them branches. Not until they've been code reviewed. Don't be merging <laughs> shit. Look, you've been waiting until you get that code review. You know what Don't what get too excited now. Yes. Don't get too excited. And let me tell you, like, if once we get through this, you will have finished pretty much the first six weeks of the boot camp, right? Mm -hmm. Now, yep. that don't mean you're gonna feel like a like a hundred percent there. That just means that you're gonna have seen it before. So when you do it, when you get into the boot camp, it's not gonna be as foreign to you, and you're gonna be like, oh, I've done this before, 
right mm-hmm. um so the 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 purpose of us doing this is not for you to feel like oh yeah you know like i'm an accomplished engineer which is what most people think after they build their first app they're gonna feel like oh yeah i know what i'm doing that is not the feeling that you're gonna get when you build your first app you're gonna be like this is crappy you know what i mean <laughs> um but it's yours and you built it and we're gonna we're gonna exactly. have fun with that shit you know what i'm saying so Small Tiana, wins are big wins. Yes, they all are. Tiana, I want you to tell what you what you gonna leave us with tonight. What you want the people to know? Give us some inspiration tonight. Cause I'm about to you go get some drugs for re- for real, honey. My mouth is like, baby, this is about to wear off. Well, then maybe this is good. what I'll leave you with. Be gentle with yourself, everybody. You just taking in so much information. Be gentle with yourself throughout this entire process take it slow it's okay and take it at your own pace it's gonna be fun this is so good and you know what also dr t be gentle with yourself it's okay sometimes we combine all of our words into one uh word and so a sentence is one word and some days it's just like that you know some days we're off balance and some days we're on balance you never know so it's be gentle so with yourself dude. and you're gonna be with us again right because i think you signed up for another time too so it might actually next be during tuesday. that active oh wait a minute next tuesday hold on let's see okay so let's see what we're gonna work on hold on let's see so working with uh hold on more logic i think we're gonna finish this up probably get into this on saturday then monday okay so we'll be doing probably debugging or we might actually be able to get into the app because the debugging part is is a quick is a quick lesson um through mm. through the through how to an use important your... one though oh yes I look forward to that. yes it is important and actually we make our students in the evening go through it again even though they've mm-hmm. already been through it because you know i i get so annoyed when they're like hey i need help and they don't have their inspector tools open they haven't looked at their network tab and i'm like how do you know what the problem is if you're not even using the tools that are given to you? y'all debugging is is our job like it's that's key. the mo- that is our job. Literally, that's our job. I have never coded without my inspector tools open. So like you should never be doing that. Um yeah. so just always keep it's that. It's a lesson mind. we all learn. It's a lesson we all learn, you know. I did it myself once. Okay. It is, but I'm gonna stay in that ass. <laughs> I do not care. I'm gonna stay in that ass. Keep that open. Look, I'm like, if you want me to help you and I come in there and your inspector tools and I open, I'm leaving right out of the Zoom room immediately. I'm not even gonna say hello. I'm leaving because we we not we not playing with an app. No, nah, baby, we developing an app. So I'm gonna need exactly. you to have them, them tools open. You can't you can't be building something without your toolbox open. If I come up in there and the toolbox yeah. closed, what the hell are you up in here doing? <laughs> you know what I'm saying? That toolbox got I to do. be open, baby. <laughs> got to be open. You know what I'm saying? Oh my god, I do. I understand 100. percent And I I hope that some of the people that are joining Cohort 66 hear that because we're also incorporating debugging into the front the the full-time course it's like one of the main chapters is the first chapter is debugging so mm. you're gonna see a lot of it yeah you're gonna see a lot of it you got to you got to and I'm, i mean honestly that's where i spend most of my time as an engineer like mm-hmm. especially if you're fixing a bug you got it yep. you have to debug it right yep well tana I, thank I you so oh go ahead baby no go ahead what you what you saying because honey i like i like the knowledge drops I was just gonna say it's like it starts talking to you, you know. If you really get to know it, it's gonna start talking back to you, and you're you're gonna have such a better time getting through your bugs and problems. Just trust it. Just trust the process. Yes, and actually, when you get into other forms of development too, that though, knowing how to use those tools are critical, like uh, in mobile development, mm-hmm. right? Being able to to read those logs and to know what's going on, because that's the only way that you can actually debug anything right not just by there y'all it's just it's critical it's critical and we gonna hit that we gonna hit that for sure Mm -hmm. yep well y'all that's all we got for tonight honey my husband was talking about some food and my mouth is like girl you ain't so i my my i think what i'm gonna do is put some saran wrap on this side of my mouth right here and like hold it up there and uh and just go about it yes thank you too y'all y'all know we got number love for y'all we cannot wait for y'all to join us thank y'all so much (laughs) for being here y'all thank you to all the subscribers that came through tonight thank Thank you you. for the new followers thank everybody for everything man showing so much love I don't know who you are, Miss Honey Creeper, but I love you too. I, we, I love you too. We love you too. You are so cute. That's yeah. My heart Check your well. slack, honey. I'm sure they're gonna be like, it was me, it was me. Because sometimes I'd be like, I'd be talking and they'd be like, Dr. T, that was me. And I'm like, you thought you was cute. I knew it was you. I knew it was you. <laughs> I know. I don't even know. I can't guess. I can't guess. Man, I think I have. Well, because I think this person. Hold on, Miss Honey Creeper, you still there? I think I have you Were slapped they here me before. Sydney? I, I'm, I'm thinking. See, I don't want to call no names, but I'm thinking I know who this person is. 
because I remember somebody sending me and be like, oh yeah, I followed you. I'm Miss Honey Creeper. And I was like, oh, okay. That makes sense. Um, I think you're right. I think you're right. Um, because you know, that person is kind of creepy. <laughs> Y'all, we're going to call it a night, y'all. Thank y'all so much for everything. Oh and we will see y'all bright early on Saturday morning, 9 o'clock to 11. Um, come through, y'all. Come through because, you know, we got we got to put in this work. We got to put it in. And we're going to start building that app in a couple weeks before y'all get started. Yeah. And those of you who are, like, not going to the boot camp, it's still going to be critical for you, all right? Um, so we will see y'all on Saturday. Thank you for having me. I'm so excited for next yes, Tuesday. Me too. And see sign up for another day. one, honey, because you know we got some more dates that we need too. So, all right, y'all. Yes, be cool. Of